That was disappointing. Seriously. New games that are supposed to be scary kind of suck. Games like Obscure, oh. Resident Evil Zero, Silent Hill 2, Hill. and Alone in the Dark. Those That's are real scary game. games. This is dumb. Let's get out of here. Finally, it's Sunday morning and I get to go to the swap meet again with Ricky, but I haven't been in a long time So I'm like extra excited today. We don't have Chris filming for us today We got Ricky's brother who did appear in one of the earlier episodes a long time ago And we can't seem to find any fast food that's open today. So it looks like it's donuts for us So I, it's like 7 right now and that's a little late for us to be eating But we went to a swap meet and every freaking fast food place was like one that opens at like 11 or 10 30 and we went to Jack in the Box, and normally they're open 24 hours. We've been there before this early, and they weren't open. So we went to a donut shop. Ricky, what's your donut of choice? I always go glaze. Lame. Lame. Glaze. Lame. Sprinkles is where it's at. Keep the inner kid alive. Right? I didn't like sprinkles when I was a kid. I like glaze. Whatever. Good morning, friends. We're at another, let's call it a flea market this time. Everyone says we say swap meet too much, but that's what they are in our area. I like an, uh, Europe and all that, they're called car boots. Did you know that? I think that's just in England. England, yeah, you're not Europe. I don't know what, I don't even know my geography. Who cares? What are they called in Mexico? Uh, backyard. <laughs> yeah, come to my backyard. Ricky, you looking for anything special today? I'm always looking for uh, wild guns. So hopefully this time, or Mega Man X3, or just Mega Man 7. I'm feeling a Mega Man mood. Mega Man mood. I'm not looking for anything in particular. I brought $40, that's it, but I'm trying to be a little cost saving because we got Portland coming up so it's in like a month. All right, let's see you guys. What's your game? Ricky found a duo case twin pack, Zelda style. Something you see a lot of swap meets too is Game Boys and Game Boy Colors. But something that you normally suffer with is this. The the battery covers are normally gone. So it's kind of an issue. But easy to come by, but normally they're missing, so. Yes, huh? Playstations are very easy to come by. Just so any of you know, if you don't go to Swap Meets a lot and you're thinking about going, don't get excited when you see one. They're they're everywhere. There are a dime a dozen out here at Swap Meets. Or a Genesis. And Genesis, to be honest. You can pretty much find them at any Swap Meet. Out here, I don't know about where you guys live. I know in every people always say that we have a ton of Swap Meets out here, which we do. So we're thankful. Right, Ricky? Don't touch me! So it's been pretty dry so far up to this point, which is a little disappointing for me because like I said, I haven't been in about three weeks since my daughter has been born. So I was expecting to go and find all these gems and everything that I haven't been picking through the past few weeks, but I was wrong. But the only good thing is the day is still young and we did get up early as always. So we still have some time ahead of us. So 
let's see what we can do from here. Dragon Ball Z alarm clock. Is it? Yeah. He looks so like kiddish though. Look how like childish he looks. I don't think this is original. Yeah, yeah. dude, licensed. Panda, right there. Just kidding. Yeah. Chris, we needed you on some information on this. Too bad there's not. I would have bought it, but there's no second. I won't even lie. I don't know that cat's name. Meow. Seriously? Yeah. I don't know how I know that. Oh, I, I played a lot of Pokemon Blue, I guess. Yeah, Ricky. Ricky. Ricky knows his Pokemon. A little. There's a reseller booth right here. Let's go see what it is. I don't know. Not too bad. Tony Hawk on the Game Boy, which we just played that in our Faceless Games episode. My God, with all those glitches, that was like the best. That was the best thing ever. Now Jamie Thomas. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what did this happen? And it turned everybody black. So, wimpy and racist, that's just what it did. Okay, white girl wearing pink shirt. Canada, for sure. <laughs> now she's a black girl wearing a pink shirt, okay. So it's still been dry so far this morning, and something that I tend to do sometimes when I don't find any games, I start buying random games. Even if I've never heard of it, it doesn't really matter to me at this point if it's a rare game or expensive game. If I can get it for a cheap price, I kind of find myself picking these up, and sometimes it's normally not really a good idea. That one. I don't know, Do DJ Boy? DJ cool. Boy. DJ, DJ Boy. I would love it if you turned it on and it's like, <laughs> Video Olympics, woo! Here you go. Hey, look, I like the uh, manuals. Oh wait, are these manuals? Oh my gosh, they're cutouts. This depresses me. Oh my gosh, look, it's the boxes, but they were cut. <laughs> that literally depresses me. <laughs> How much are the games? Five. Five bucks? Yes. Yeah. That's not bad. For to have a little case with it too. Now we happen to run by a game that we have heard of before, but only the other game. We run across a game called We Love Katamari, and we all know Katamari Damase, so we weren't too sure of this, but let's see if we grab it. How much is the How game? Uh, that one's four. Four? I know Katamari Damase, but I don't know what We Love Katamari is. Do you know by any chance? Just out of curiosity what the difference is? Okay, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's part two for the first one? I'll let you know. I don't know. Aw, oh, Ricky's breaking my rule. I hate looking at stuff online or out here. I just want to know if it's part two. <laughs> so Ricky didn't get the We Love Katamari, but something I wanted to say is, I know a lot of times when we see games, you guys ask like, oh, why didn't you guys, why didn't you guys get that? Whatever, but a lot of times we don't show you guys the prices. We see, a lot of, I'm not saying that game's rare, but rare games and expensive games quite often. But a lot of times, if we don't mention anything about it, that means we ask and it's usually what the asking price is. And we don't like to pay that. So just so you guys know. I'm so cheap. If I remember correctly, this is the one Metal Jesus was talking about in his video. When viewers recommended that I add SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom in my Hidden Gem series for the GameCube, I was like, are you serious? I mean, do they even make good SpongeBob games? And you know what? It turns out, yeah, they do. Which is cool. These are five bucks each. Let's see. Pac Man, Spider Man, Pool Party, and Chicago for uh, Genesis. I don't know if it's worth five bucks. I don't know, but I played it recently and, and it was awesome. And it has the manual stuff. So for five bucks, I think I'm going to pick this up. And he's going to pick up Chaka Khan. Chaka Khan! Uh, oh, I have a five. Here you go. Thanks, I got this one. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So if I'm 100% honest, I had a good time hanging out with friends, but I didn't really get in that many games, so I kind of was let down at this first place. But you guys know me, I don't really let things get me down too easily, so I know one way to cheer me up. Go get more fast food. Seriously, what's wrong with this? I'm thinking at this point that we're going to need some sort of surgery in the future. I bet you go on a diet. Actually, I probably will. Art, how do you like filming for us? It's awesome. Is it? Oh yeah. Will you remember it for the rest of your life? Forever and ever? Yeah. This man filmed for us in what episode? First, the one no. got killed. The one episode three. Where Aaron died. He filmed for us in episode three when we first started. So, 
Thank you, sir. No problem. So Aaron went in the girls' restroom. We don't know why. Let's try to be topical on the show. How do you feel about Miley Cyrus twerking on stage on a married man? She's kind of weird. I kind of miss the Hannah Montana days, to tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Lip... <sighs> Ricky, come on! <laughs> What's in here? Let's Whoa. get busy! Let's get busy! Very, very. I need some faceless games. How much are the ones with. How much, is the how much are the ones with no labels? Five? Five? Well, that for me is a definite no. Buzz! You wanna get a little buzz? Uh oh. Uh oh, he moves? Dude, that's awesome. My hand doesn't move. That's a okay. couple of pieces, dude. Look, it doesn't move. That's why you got B. Look. Sure. Flight simulators suck. <gasps> a little known fact people don't know is rock band mics actually are decent for like podcasts. Ricky had to use them one time. They're not great, but they're honestly a lot better than internal mics and some crappy mics people have, like headsets. These are not that bad. I'd put a foam cover on it though, it actually helps. It kinda hurt my feelings. <laughs> I remember you told it you told us instead of slapping, why don't you guys punch each other? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Something that's a really good feeling when you're out game hunting is when the first place you did, you did kind of bad, but the second place you go to is loaded with stuff. And when you ask people prices, you seem to be getting some good offers. So let's see what I got. So I just came to this guy and he said, three bucks each for the PlayStation 2 games. What the trick is, I've said before, you hold up a game like this and you ask how much they are and he says, what system? And I say, PlayStation 2, so he says, oh, three bucks each. And then you, and then you to yourself pull out games like this. So, Gauntlet Dark Legacy, Silent Hill 2. I'm also gonna get Fur Fighters. They're all black label, they're all in there, they're all clean. So, for three bucks each, you can't go wrong. So, we both just scored back to back places. Ricky, show them what you got. I said NES dot Super Dodgeball. Five bucks. So much fun. Freaking fun Technos Japan game with Honestly. power moves and it's dodgeball, but like everybody knows it knows Technos Japan games. Is, is that Randy that's really? Yeah, Randy's and Sam. Sam Randy throws the Randy and Sam balls. are awesome. So, and then I got all three of these. They were three each. I talked them down to eight bucks for all. So, Fur Fighters, Silent Two, Gone Lengthy for under, for eight bucks. Psh, yeah! The day's looking good. So, <laughs> let's keep going. I like the swami so far. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Yeah. Played it? No. Wow. Woodstock. Woodstock. Nice. I remember when I was there. <laughs> you were right there. You were right there. Boy, man. He's young. This is 20 years old. I was there, dude. You were there? Yeah. I went on before Jimmy. How much? Five dollars each. What do you have there, Ricky? I got this awful gun from the game, but I just wanted to cover it up for Bomberman 64. Five? Doesn't seem that bad. I keep buying Bomberman Hero, and I don't know how I keep getting it. Keep buying that one, and I don't have this one, so five bucks seems fair. Because you're an addict. I am an addict. Ah, finally, my swap meet cravings have been fulfilled. It was really hard not going to the swap meet every single week in the past month. But hey, obviously my daughter is way more important than going to the swap meet. But it felt good to go. But something I was thinking about the other day is, what's the point in collecting all these games if you don't play them very often? So, Ricky and I decided to hit up some of our guy friends, and we actually got stuck with the kids. But hey, they gotta learn retro sometime. So, we went out, and we played some video games with them. Here we go, guys night with the kids! <laughs> we're Retro Liberty, it's Ricky and me. We're the new generation of the game. Hunting nation will be up in your face, all over the place. Looking for games, nothing the same. Everything's fun, and it's up.
What happened? Look! I'm babysitting. Are you guys enjoying this? No. <laughs> no. So what happens when you tell your brother who has no kids to babysit? Hi guys, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Liberty. It is awesome to be at the back of the swap meet because I haven't been for like three weeks or we haven't been together in three weeks because yeah, my baby's exactly three weeks old today and I tried to take a little break. <laughs> so we're back and it felt good. It was freaking hot though. Hot as crud, hot as hell. I was on the slip and slide today, acting like an idiot, so... I, no, I really was, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to cool down, so... But anyway, with that said, let's uh, show you guys some of the stuff we got at the swap meet, so, uh, Ricky, go ahead and go for it. One of the things we ran into was box Nintendo games. Now, whenever box Nintendo games are around six, five bucks, Get Why em. not? Yeah, get them for sure. And especially when yeah. even if they're not that good at games, look at the condition. They're not bad. I mean, I've seen better, but dude. No, this is good, dude. I mean, to find an NES like or SNES case in good condition is kind of hard because it's cardboard. Any box Nintendo game is good to get, even if it's just this. You know, it's not like Genesis or PlayStation where it's like the yeah. shell cases, so I'd say good job. And it's yeah. bases loaded. And Six bucks each. Ferrari Grand Prix. We even see what you got, yeah. Ricky. Oh, I'm sorry. The Ferrari Grand Prix challenge. It's no Rad Racer, but it's okay. It sucks. It I sucks. would say yeah, it sucks. sucks. Don't go buy it. I think it's going to be I'm fun. I'm sorry. Yeah. Bases loaded. That's pretty fun. I like it. Baseball yeah. games on the NES are different from today's, so. Yeah, and I'm actually fun. I take that as a better thing. I don't like baseball games nowadays. They're all right. They're just it's too real. Complicated. <laughs> All right, so my next game, it's the Disney Ad Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. I couldn't even say it, I'm like, <laughs> uh, but that's an awesome game. You're in Disneyland, and you're set loose in Disneyland, and you go through all these different... But I was cracking up at Aaron when he saw this. That pissed me off, dude. <laughs> it freaking cut up the box. That makes me so mad. Oh, that drives me insane, but... That was like four bucks. What was it, four? Yeah, five bucks. Five bucks. But hey, five, it has the manual. Manuel. Manuel. That was Ricky theft. Oh, so, no. good job, Ricky, on that. Uh, great game. Capcom game. Uh, definitely a game I recommend getting. And like I said, it was in our top five Disney NES games. So, game good. Game good. Get it. The thing that makes this game so great is that you get to play a ton of mini games, but since this game was developed by Capcom in the 8-bit days, you know they put real effort into each mini game. And then uh, this one, Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. I got such a good idea from this that I decided to cut up my Castlevania box too. I actually tried it today. It is pretty darn fun. It kind of reminds me like a like a 3D world. Yeah, it's something like that. But there's very mixed feelings on that game. So you know, really? some of you, so, I you enjoyed know, it. There's people. Out I'm there enjoying that, it so far. There's people out there that hate it, but hey. Ricky likes it, so give him some grace. Good job, Actually, Ricky. Aaron might like, dude, the beginning's like dark. I love dark games. <laughs> that was weird. And then probably my favorite pickup of the day, one of the greatest games, Super Dodgeball. Oh, so much fun, honestly. It really is one of the greatest games. You could beat this game really fast, but it's so much fun. It's more like two-player action. Yeah, it's good. It's right? so much fun. But even one player, it's great. Yeah. You're basically playing dodgeball, but it's uh, Technos Japan, so it's that certain type of characters like River City Ransom, World Cup Soccer. Uh, there's power moves. There's crazy power moves. Good. There's like a shadow level at the end. It's um, very cool animations, very good graphics. The gameplay is super strong. The power moves just make it what it yeah, is. Yeah, they're it's awesome. So they go cool. flying through the level, so when you beat them. First, DJ Boy, which when I got it, I didn't remember what it was, but when I looked up gameplay, I do remember. I think it used to be an arcade game, and it was decent, but the Genesis port uh, sucked. I played it, and you're a roller skater. It's basically like a beat-em-up, <laughs> but you're a roller skater, but it's just not that good. It doesn't feel, it, the, the controls don't feel tight. The, when you hit people, it doesn't feel like a powerful hit. It just, it feels kind of weak. I don't know, it fell short for me, but hey, I got it for a couple bucks, and it's freaking DJ Boy, so. <laughs> Yeah, the kid on the cool looks cool. The kid on the cool. The kid on the cool looks cool. The kid on the cover looks cool. Shut up. He's talking about Kid Chameleon. He does look cool. Yeah. And this game, uh, I don't know how you say it. Shakan, Shakin. It's Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. It's the <laughs> Forever Man, which is a really dark game, you guys, and it's brutally hard. I think the whole story is this guy like made a deal with like I think the devil or somebody to see if he could fight him and win, and he ended up thinking he would win, so he would get eternal life. But then I think the devil devil stabbed him through the back, and he ended up losing and became the forever man and now he's like eternally damned until he kills all these certain people but who would have thought the devil would have stabbed you in the back hooray i'm gonna live a long and happy life ah! 
<laughs> I know, yeah. Who would think? <laughs> yeah, no, but it's a really cool game. Really dark. A lot of power ups. You have a sword with a lot of different powers, with like ice moves and fire moves, and it's a really cool platformer side scroller. Are you a scarecrow? Uh, it looks like a scarecrow, definitely. It's like Wizard of Oz on crack. It'll scare the crop. <laughs> okay, three more games. Gauntlet Dark Legacy, which is great. It can be a four-player game. If you guys haven't played Gauntlet games, they're, um, it's super four-player fun. It's We just played one. Yeah, the old one, yeah. <laughs> Dude, your guy's slow. Look how fast my guy is! But this is like 3D World, um, PlayStation 2 style, and I don't really know the story of this game because it was always like a time passer, but it's a game I would definitely say to play, especially if you have friends. It's just like beat levels and levels to keep going, I think. I haven't played that one as much as I played the NES one. Fur Fighters, which I actually don't know much at all about, but I tried to put it in for like two minutes and my kids started going crazy, but from what I saw, it looked very like, much like cell damage on the GameCube. Ooh, I love cell very damage. Very cell shaded. Um, kind of remind me of like Conkers in a way, like really edgy animals, and there was a lot of shooting going, shooting going on in 3D World. The cover looks awesome. The cover does look awesome. This guy looks like super bad at the bone. Vigo's Revenge, so didn't really get to try it, but I know it is up to four players also, so that's always a plus. And the last thing for me is one of my favorite games of all time, and I have um, got it before, and I don't know where it went when I switched game rooms. I don't know where it went, but hey, I got it again for a good price. Silent Hill 2, which is, to me, and definitely one of the greatest uh, survival horror games in history, and I don't think, I think it's a lot good. of you agree with me, it can't be topped. Um, I think your character's name is James, and the whole story is that your wife, who died, like, I think three years ago, you got a letter and like from her saying, like three years later, that she's in Silent Hill and you need to go find her, and that's kind of where the story takes off. And these are great games. There, that doesn't. This is a game that proves graphics don't matter nowadays. I've went back and played these. I went back and played Resident Evil's the other day. It still fun. freaked me out. So play that game by yourself. Yeah, play it by yourself. Seriously, the lights out. I, I used to not do it when I was a kid. I was like, nope, can't do it. I think that's it for us. Like the video, please, you guys. You guys are awesome. Always doing it. We thank you guys so much. Comment. You're talking to Ricky mostly. Subscribe if you guys are new to this channel. It's your first time seeing it. Videos every week. Different things every week. This is our main thing we do every other week. You will see a video every week. So subscribe. Boom. Hit that button and you're in. Oh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Join us on there. I think we're almost at like a thousand people on Facebook. So awesome. Ooh. You guys are cool. We do a lot of fun questions. And uh, I normally take comments from those Facebook things and Twitter and put them through in the video. So. Ooh, you can be on the video. Yeah. Yeah, you can. That means anything <laughs> to you. People are like, I don't want to be in your stupid video. <laughs> yeah. So, hey, I think that's it, right? I think so. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>
resell dollar games, crappy games, really is. No. I honestly want something good right now. Something real good. That's fine. Um, I was thinking the other option is I could steal your games! <laughs> weekend is really cool for a lot of different reasons. I can't really explain what it is, but there's just something about waking up early and hanging out with friends and going to the swap meet. And this week when we're going with my good friend, my cousin, his name's Chris Brown actually, and he watches the show quite often, so he's excited. Look at this. Is this a normal occasion? Ice cream at 6 a.m.? This is a special morning. Oh, okay. I'm with the uh, NES Complex crew. <laughs> Oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> Ricky said you can dry off with this this thing. Go ahead, Chris. I'm sorry. Crotch. You should have seen the McDonald's cup. It just fell over. It was just like it. Chris looks at me. He goes, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I saw in the back just flip over and land on I look at him and he looks terrified. And there's soda dribbling on his winky. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. And it's one of those days when I can smell it in the air. Ricky, do you smell it? Did you just fart? I didn't fart. We're gonna get some games today. I feel it, I smell it, and I know it's coming. Don't say I farted, let's go. I can smell it too. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the Paul McCartney Beatles style rock band, but this is like the only time in my life I've ever been tempted remotely in any way to buy a rock band guitar because this one looks cool. Because it's freaking Paul McCartney, and if you don't like Paul McCartney, and if you don't know who that is especially, turn off the video and go look up the Beatles. They're What's your favorite band of soap? Price. Dove. Dove. Dove's it's good. Leaves your hand like that moist feeling, but not greasy moist. So we're actually talking to a guy who normally sells his stuff for like way too expensive. And I saw this really nice tripod, and I was like, oh, he's probably gonna sell it for, you know, 20, 30 bucks. He wants five bucks for it. And it's like the nicest tripod I've seen out here in a long time. So it's even got the handle for free filming for when Chris is walking around. It'll probably come in handy in Portland, so that's so probably got a hook right here, too. Look at this. Yeah, this thing's great. I'm like shocked right now that he said five bucks. So. It's got the hookup. Yep. I could honestly go home a happy man right now. I've been looking for a good tripod for a long time. Mine's been really rinky tinky really lately. And normally every time I see a good one, they're like 30 bucks, so I'm stoked right now. Ooh, we got tennis, tiger heli, golf. Actually, I actually already have them all, so maybe Aaron will want these. Let's see what we got for uh, Genesis. What do you have, what do you have? Awful Pebble Beach. Mrs. Pac-Man. Sonic. Which is upgraded from original Pac-Man, which is yes, weird. Yes, Skitchin. Skitchin, you gotta get that, dude. How much are the games? Three bucks? Have you ever played F-22? No. Have you ever played MiG-29? This is the thing for it. MiG-29 booklets in here. Ricky's got the game. I don't know. I'm always a fan of these big carts on Genesis. We were talking about that on Facebook yesterday. If you were part of Facebook, you would know. We were talking about what are the best cases for video games. And we were saying Genesis ones like this are basically indestructible. And now, a mini record player. We seriously can't find Ricky right now. So, Ricky! I would yell Ricardo, but probably like 15 people will look over. Mijo. Mijo, Nino. You know, you know, you know. A few minutes later. Ricky's way down there and he doesn't tell us. So what if he finds a good game, we just don't get it on footage? That's one thing Ricky does. We talked about that in a podcast, the things that bother us. That's me, Ricky jumps ahead. He doesn't care about footage. He's not thinking about you guys. I should do the 
No. I didn't buy anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Ricky. I was walking slow on purpose. We didn't even know where you were. We were literally looking. Uh, I, I went like this. I'm like. Oh, and you, you? And you guys were like. Oh, nice. I know you guys were talking bad. We did. This is Ricky. He always walks. That's exactly what we said. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Hello, David Hasselhoff. Bye. Hey, now we run across a new reseller in our local swap meet. This could be a really good thing if he ends up being cheap and a really cool guy. Let's see his prices. Yeah, those are the better ones. How much is uh, Rayman 2? That one. Rayman 2? Uh, Rayman 2. 17. 17. Uh, Banjo Kazooie. How much are the controllers? Controllers. Um, That's not bad. Oh, here we go. War games. Ooh. Are these go? Duplicates. Duplicates? Yeah. Oh, one of those have out. Yeah, nice. Doubles. You gotta always have doubles. <sighs> well, that didn't work out, but I was being nice anyway because I'm not gonna be rude. I know I'm not going back there, so there was really no point. But just so you guys know, boy, are we about to turn our luck around. <laughs> How much are the games? Six bucks each. De estos, Antonio. Did you get right here? Four. Four? Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Yep. Four bucks each. Yep. So, I'll probably get them. Good games. Fun games. I, uh, Ricky, what did you just grab? I got another Mario Party. How much though? Six bucks. I got these for four bucks each? Ricky ran over to this place super excited and I saw a Mario Party and it was one of those timing things. It doesn't happen a lot to where you can tell she just pulled out her stuff and nobody had seen him yet and you could tell she didn't care about games really. They're still pulling out more stuff and we just walked away. We're like, what? Doo -doo. When she said six bucks for Mario Party and then I saw these, I was like, and then she went down to four for these. I didn't even have to ask her. I didn't try to talk her down because that's already low. Even six would have been good. Oh, I would have paid six bucks for these in a heartbeat. Okay, so obviously I was downplaying the games and how much they're worth in front of the lady because, well, I didn't want her to know really and she offered four, but moments after Ricky said he wanted to go back there because he thinks she still was unloading some more games, so let's see what he gets. How Ooh, much is the, how's uh, that Game Boy? Game Boy. Uh, yep, Pokemon Red, and well, I didn't show more footage because Ricky spoke in Spanish. Do you want one? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect for skits. It's kind of red, isn't it? Uh, it's a little faded. We were honestly considering buying them because there's two of them. But they're kind of faded. We want like legit, like hardcore mariachi, nice. What is like nice mariachi called? Like the people that are super dressed up. I think I it's, it's mariachi. Mariachi. I think it's Mari Gucci. Mari Gucci! Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Conan. Army. You guys want to know something? My sister is kind of dating um, the original Conan. And. He was in Mortal Kombat Annihilation as Motaro, and he might appear in an episode soon. And I was even thinking about like interviewing him and stuff because he's had a pretty cool life. He was in, he was Malibu in American Gladiators. I was on the beach taking in some cosmic rays, getting healed by Mother Nature. And he's a nice dude, so maybe you'll see him in the show soon. Maybe we'll have him do a skit where he like beats the crap out of me and Ricky. So, Metroid Prime. Underrated game. No, I don't know. It's definitely different than uh, the regular Metroid. It's the first FPS Metroid. But I think it's. It's cool. It's Kmart Edition. Alright, I'm really curious about this. I'm gonna need your guys' help. Kmart exclusive on Metroid Prime. I have never seen or heard of that in my life. Um, it's, I guess, supposedly comes with the wire, the WaveBird controller, normally, but obviously we're not at Kmart. But so, I'm curious. Please let me know if you guys know. It says not for resale on the back, also, so that could be a good thing. So please let me know, so I know, because I'm lost on this. So yeah, the day definitely turned around for us, and I just got a Dreamcast for a freaking dollar, and Ricky also picked up a PS1 from the same guy for a dollar, also. Man. 
I sure am loving this day, but days do have to come to an end. Chris, will you tell us a little bit about yourself? 28, single bachelor. <laughs> Freaking what, luck. What does your wife think of that? Uh, who said anything about a wife? Ooh. Chris, how about you? You've been away for a while. How was uh, your trip hunting? Oh, yeah, it was good. Yeah, how many, how lots many, of birds. How many animals did you kill? Uh, too many. When you say it like that, we ate everything we, we killed. Oh, that's good. Yeah. As long as you, do you do that with human? Uh, no. Kill them, the sweetest meat of them all? No. That's illegal, Aaron. But he doesn't kill them quickly. Yeah, tell them what you do, Chris. What? I kill them quick. Shoot first, them. First shot, they're dead. Ooh. Ooh. Good aim. Sharpshooter. Yeah. And then we eat them. Jalapeno and bacon wrap dove breasts. Beautiful. Ooh, breasts. And now we discuss finding stadium events. Please don't hate me. Stadium events are there. I Ricky. can't open this, I got too many bags. What would you guys do if I found it and I bought it? I'd probably tackle, I'd probably tackle, tackle you. What about like finders keepers? I'd tackle, tackle you. And we delete the footage would you guys keep, I don't know what this is. Would you keep it or sell it? If what, got stadium events? Yeah. Everyone's gonna hate me for this. I would sell stadium events in a, in a freaking heartbeat, heartbeat if I found it. I have a family with kids. I ain't holding on to a $17,000 video game in my house. Do you realize how many other games I can buy with that? I know there is a couple people that watch the show who have it. That guy has stadium events. So as soon as I found his address, breaking in his home and taking it. Oh, great. Ooh. Someone, Someone's going to see him and they're going to be like, oh, we're to Liberty Soldier you have it. I'll beep his name out. <laughs> <laughs>say is this has been an amazing day this day turned out so much better than i could have imagined getting pokemon games on the game boy for four dollars each dreamcast for a dollar ps1 for a dollar i'm super thankful i don't even know what to say but i guess i'm just blessed to be able to do this every weekend with my friends and i'm also thankful for you guys so thanks for being a part of the show you guys i know i don't say that much but i really do appreciate you guys going on our journey with us <laughs> there's soda dribbling on his winky <laughs> aaron here and ricky and it's sad news, you guys. Today's the day Hiroshi Yamauchi has passed away at 85 due to ammonia. So everybody, give him a moment of silence when you can. And also, play a Nintendo game in honor yes. of him. He pretty much pioneered Nintendo into video game making. And uh, alongside Shigeru Miyamoto, they've done a lot of great things together. So he really is like one of the reasons Nintendo is where it is today, for real. It was a, Seriously. It was a playing card company, in case you guys didn't know that. And um, obviously, you know what Nintendo is now. So with that said, let's get into our pickups. We're going to go straight into our pickups because we got kind of a few different things to show. So let's get into it. Go ahead, Ricky. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. For my first pickup was uh, Orange GameCube controller. Orange Spice, I think it's called. Ooh. I think it is. Really. Yes. Spice. Yeah, they're kind of expensive. I think they're like yeah, 20 bucks. They're really expensive now. I don't know why. And GameCube. GameCube. GameCube, Game, <laughs> GameCube controllers are extremely comfortable if you're not a GameCube player. They are very comfortable. Yeah, you should try them out. I think they're some of the most comfortable controllers out there. Smash is very easy with that controller. It really is. Smash yeah. Brothers? Yeah, Smash Brothers is great with it. And then Puzzle Bobble for the Game Gear, but the Japanese version. Which but, is cool. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure it's it's just like a Bust a Move, but. Yeah, yeah, it's just like Bust a Move, which is fun. Super addicting. I never played Game Gear really much at all, so... Hey, hey Ron. Hmm. You wanna play some Game Gear? I told you I don't play Game Gear! If it's any different than, uh, you know, let us know. move types, let us know. Pokemon Gold and Pokemon Red. Gotta catch them all! Gotta catch them all! Yeah! I spent a lot of time on this one. That's awesome. This one's cool. I am jealous of that. Awesome. Probably my favorite one just because you... God, I feel like a dork. Tell, dude, who cares? A lot of people love Pokemon, man. Alright, I actually like Charmander. I, I like this whole thing right here. I like Charizard, Charmander, Charmander. Isn't the guy on Smash Brothers who goes, Charmander! 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 Is that yes. him? <laughs> yes! See, I know something about Pokemon, kind of, just because of Smash. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to show is a GameCube backpack. Which is cool, but interestingly enough, it doesn't fit a GameCube. <laughs> I think it was just for more like marketing for like backpack advertising, so. I think it fits, just not very comfortably. <laughs> yeah, it'd be hot and sweating in there after a while. Oh. So, but hey, that's very cool. Hey, it's cool to get a backpack for a couple few bucks. You got it for like six bucks or something. Yeah, so. it's cool. Good job. Oh yeah, and I got this, but I forgot to show it. I love Street Fighter, honestly, love it. <laughs> For me, uh, I got Batman and Robin on the Genesis for five bucks at a resale store, which is kind of cool for a resale store because it's good. It's good. It's a pr it's a pricey game. Yeah, on so Genesis. it was interesting that they were selling it for that. So that was nice of them, and it's a great game. We've talked about it before. Uh, cartoony, very fun beat 'em up. Um, it's a great one. So I'm handing them game to you. good. And then I got these together. Woo! Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Yellow. Charizard, I choose you. Pikachu. 
Pikachu, I choose you! You got it, dude. Huh? For four bucks each, when I saw that, uh, the game sitting there and Ricky was reaching for a Mario Party, which he got for six bucks, I asked her about these and I could just hear it in Ricky. He's just, oh. Actually, in the video, I think you could hear him do that right underneath his breath. Four? Oh. Oh, yeah. ah! And um, I have never played these, you guys, and to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to. I might just take them to Portland as trade bait, you know, for other things that I really want, like any nice. games that I don't have. So, we'll see. But uh, either way, very cool to get. So, very awesome. It was a good find. Metroid Prime Kmart exclusive, which Ooh. is cool to find. I don't think it makes it that much more, but I know it was packaged uh, Kmart obviously with the Wavebird after I looked it up on the internet, and you just don't see them as much. I think it makes it like worth five more bucks or something. But Metroid Prime, cool game, FPS, awesome, Metroid. It was very controversial for a while if it was going to do well or how the people to react. And I still people, I still think people don't like it as much. Some people, yeah, some people don't. A lot of people have gotten used. You guys to it, are though. Metroid fans. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not actually that hardcore to Metroid, even though I do love Metroid. I'm just kidding. Don't stay mad at me. And then um, the last buy that I'm going to show you guys is this. For buck. Ricky actually spotted it, and we both already have like a few Dreamcasts. So it's like funny. Normally we fight over things, but we're like, you, you get it. it. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. Oh, uh, you can have it. And we was like, Dude, I'm like, there's a, a Dreamcast. Yeah. These are all just mine. Go ahead. Yeah, and we, I got it for a buck, and he got a PS1 for a buck, so that guy was like, anything's a buck. I'm I was like, still thinking about it. <laughs> Even this? Yeah, so. So we got that, and Dreamcast is a great system. September 9th, 1999 is when it came out. Just Beautiful so you know, day. 99 <laughs> We just want to thank you guys for a lot of mail we've been getting. Like, a lot. You guys, we asked thank for you. Faceless Games, NES Goomba, a guy named Juke, Chris Roberts, a whole bunch of people sent us Faceless Games. People keep sending us all these different Nintendo games, Genesis games, different things. It's awesome. And we just want to thank you guys. That's awesome. We normally post it on, like, Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, but we just wanted to say thank you. And we wanted to show two of them. This is very cool. DX2929 is his name, or YouTube channel. His name's Roger. He did the Blaster Master, the Dale, Chip, and Bionic Commando. Which is awesome. It is so, pretty cool. Yeah, all these you see back here. Actually, one was from a girl named Allison, uh, the duck, Scrooge McDuck up there. So thank you for that, Allison. I appreciate that. But all the other Perler beads have been from Roger at DX2929. So, he did make us a Scrooge too, though. Yeah, he did also. Yeah, so we have two. So yeah, we each got one. So thank you both. Thank and, you. And uh, just thank you for this. This is really cool. Go over and check him out. Give him a hello from, from Retro Liberty. Hello. These are amazing. Ricky. Cool. How cool is this? I might have to show like, a, yeah, keep it up there for a minute in case it's bad, but he made us custom labels for faceless games for our episode that we do, and it looks amazing. And it says questionable series. <laughs> I know, that's, that's what, what I, I like. like. <laughs> so, awesome. Thank you, Chris Roberts. He sent those Thank to you. us along with a bunch of faceless games, a couple Pokemon cards for Chris, some Master System games. Very awesome. That is something you don't have to do, but you did. So I that's know. it. I feel like we're talking a lot today. Sorry. Yeah. Like the video, please keep liking them. We always appreciate it. It keeps us motivated. Instagram. Keep, yeah, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that. Facebook passed a thousand people on there. Wow. So yeah, we got a thousand likes on that, and you guys are super involved in that. So thank you for that, and um, subscribe. Subscribe. Did I catch him? Ew! I caught him! You guys saw that on camera. Well, I don't know if they saw it. I just caught a mosquito. We just rambled a lot. Just subscribe and see us. Well, we're coming back a lot. Come back at you. We yeah. got a new intro coming for one year. We'll hit one year in like two months. Oh. Yeah. We're going to Portland. We're going to be filming with a ton of the YouTubers that we know. It's a busy month. It's going to be a very busy month. So keep involved and you guys will see us along with a lot of other YouTubers. YouTubers? YouTubers on this channel. Oh, and if you didn't check out the Why We Retro documentary, go back and check it out. There is the Game Chasers. Billy's in there, uh, who else? Chipsters, NES Complex, Arcade Impossible, Games 3 one and us. So it's a great video discussing why we play retro video games. And it's, nice. a, it's a little more heartfelt than normal. So, sit down! Have a good night! Goodbye! I choose you! You almost hit the camera! Hey, Aaron. Hmm. You wanna play some Game Gear? I told you I don't play Game Gear! Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> well, you gotta stop sitting on crates. <laughs> Honestly. Love it. Oh, Ricky. <laughs> There's soda dribbling on his winky. <laughs>
Hey everybody, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And today we're at the Orange County Swap Meet, and today we're going to be looking for some Nintendo games, some Super Nintendo games, some GameCube games, anything Nintendo related. Wish us luck today on our first episode of the NES Pursuit. So the day has finally come, the day we leave to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Ricky and I have been waiting for this day for a long time, basically since we first started our channel. And a way for you guys to know that we really wanted to go to this event, well, Ricky and I hate flying with a passion. So for us to get on a plane to go, you guys know we really want to go to this. So we're at our first destination, we just got to San Jose, and I can't hear anything. I have like really bad ears. And I seriously right now can't hear anything. I had the worst pains when we were landing. It's not just like my ears are popping. It's like I have a pain like all around my head. Maybe it was from playing in bands growing up. But, uh, or because you're a wuss. Because I'm a wuss, yeah. So we're almost to our uh, next flight, 30 minutes, and then we'll be uh, with all our buddies. I'm excited. So we had a brief layover in San Jose, like I said, right before we went to Oregon, but the time was short, so it went by fast, and our first thing on the agenda is to have Tyler and Terry from Luigi Freakout 123 pick us up. What's up, Tyler? How are you, man? Nice to see you. What's up, man? How are you? So we're in the game for about 200 Oh, that's not bad. 230 oh. bucks, no. Yeah, not, easy. not, not at all. Nice. That'd be cool. So. You guys can try to get it back after I steal it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that we know you have it. Yeah, I already do. We got it. No, I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't be I like, touch anything. Then why? Yeah. Then why? Why the game room? Yeah. Why you been saying this? It's totally touchable. Ooh, I'm excited actually. He was giving me plans on how he was. Yeah, Adam, yeah. that's, that's the whole reason yeah. we brought Adam. <laughs> to load him up. What do you think I'm here? Yeah, the big distraction. <laughs> Well, it feels amazing to be out here in Oregon. I never really leave the states that much because I hate flying, and I'm not really one for road trips because, well, I have three kids and a wife, so it's normally a lot of work to do this. So it's already shaping up to be an amazing weekend, and to top things off, the first place they take us is to a place called Retro Game Trader, and I've never been here because they don't have these where we live. That's something Ricky and I, have to this day, still haven't seen out of Swap Me at 3DO. Whoa. First yeah. time? Ever. Oh, man. I mean, I don't have money to buy one, but... You could just drool over it? Yeah. There's a couple people on YouTube that, like, uh, do videos so on them all the time, the so... That'd be sick. There's some good TurboGrafx-16 uh, games down here. Uh, Blazing Lasers is, like, a super good shoot 'em up that everybody talks about. We never see TurboGrafx games, either. We really to be honest. Don't. Out of the swap meet. Or we don't have a good eye for them. Like, we, it's easy to have that eye for a certain game. Like, we have an eye for Nintendo games from really far away. Yeah. Like, we could spot them from a mile away to Swami, but, like, TurboGrafx jewel cases. Not so much. Yeah. They're CDs to me. I just don't, I don't have it. I don't see it. Oh, What's right that there. game that's like it? It's like Flashback. 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 It's just like Flashback. Great game. Wow. This, was this a long box release ever? Or no? Do you know? I don't know. That okay. seems like a factory version. Okay. Yeah, I can't wait to play it. I think it's better than the Super Nintendo version. You, you I played it in uh, Australia. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Lucky you, man. That's rad. Um, looking at Strawberry Shortcake for the Atari yeah. 2600. Welcome aboard! What do you get about hooking it up for on our uh, Strawberry Shortcake TV and playing it? It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. Uh, it doesn't have a price on it. Uh oh. 
It's on the side, I think. Oh, five, fifteen dollars. Ooh, put it back. Oh, the old meal. Yeah. <laughs> we, we just need it for a, a display. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Then you're not serious. So this was a really great store. They had a lot of systems and a lot of games that we don't really see often, so that was really cool. But we're here for the Retro Gaming Expo, so it's best not to spend all our money. We're all getting a little hungry, so Tyler and Terry take us over to a little Mexican food truck. Ricky, how's yes, the case with you? Muy delicioso. No brothers, I'll replace two, got chills too, chicken bell too, bubble bubble too, actually 52. Wow, dude. So when you get, when you get, when we get a better game, the last game Aaron. goes down. <laughs> no way. Look at, at this. Memory I, I, yeah, I so. love that. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Princess Tomato, Box. too. Oh, Bond yeah, Adventure. Awesome. Bond. What on NES? I thought it was on Triple Crunch. I actually like oh. Cowboy Kid. Too. Oh, hang on. We have the old Dragon Ball with Tristan. Look at this. Oh. Chris. Every sixty-four. Yes. Yeah, thing? those are expensive. Those are those are our expensive. Awesome. Yeah. The top Ricky, like, I would picture you having model. one of those. I was this close to getting one box. Contra Force. 150. Contra Force and Mighty Final hey, Fight. Yeah, two games I really like. Yeah, go ahead. Mighty Final Can Fight. Can I touch Little Samson? Yeah, go ahead. I think that's some of the best graphics on it. 152. Quick, take it. I just really want it. God. Run! Yeah, what's the, what's the point now if you can't touch it? So sick, dude. Wow. Check this out. These are our mods. Here's the Nintendo 64 mid. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah, we just invented this one. Are you one. kidding me? Oh my god. And then this is, this is Tyler's favorite. Is this the Solar Jetman? Yeah. This is, this is, solar, this solar is just basically just a spaceship with solar jetman. I like that game and, too. And, awesome. and you can play it. And see, so it plays it and it has the AV cords out the back. So Dude, that's just, ridiculous. And then we modded it so they actually go in the little holes. Are that you we're kidding me right now? <laughs> and then awesome. modded the controller. Whoa. See, Why? It's okay. See, you're barking at the dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, the dog doesn't like Aaron. <laughs> you got that on footage. It knows that was our meter reader, dude. Did you get on footage? Uh, barely, I don't I know. Told her, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't think anybody likes that high pitched scream. At this point, Greg, Ricky, Chris, Adam, and I are all extremely impressed by this room. I've been to a lot of game rooms, and including my own, and Jeez, this makes ours look like crap. So we ended up hanging out here for quite a long time just playing video games and looking at everything they have to offer in this room. It's one of those rooms you could just hang out in for hours. We're gonna play a game, a Nintendo game, but Tyler doesn't have any. I guess it's laser. Yeah. No. <laughs> no one wants a laser. I like laser. You you like the laser? No, don't get it. Oh no. All right. Although we had a blast hanging out in their room, it's time to go and head over to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And something I didn't tell you guys yet is that we get to go in a day early and the vendors that are set up that have their games out, we get first dibs on what they have out, so we're freaking excited. And to top it off, our good friend Chris, NES Complex, is already in there shopping, so let's go grab him. Presentation or Grace? Grace. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I know we're supposed to say Bible Buffet Quiz Book. <laughs> the Bible Buffet Quiz Book? Oh, yeah, like you know how you play Bible Buffet? Yeah. There's like those things like, yeah, you know, yeah, one. Yeah. So wait. So, so now you finally know what the questions are. Oh. What's the question? Because oh, apparently yeah, Wisdom Tree is too lazy to put them in the game. <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. Good job, dude. <laughs> Thank you. you. I feel a bit closer oh, wow. to Jesus right now. I actually know some of these. I feel a little closer to Elijah the Tishbite of Gilead told Ahab, As the Lord liveth, neither blank nor rain shall fall these years. Praise Lord! <laughs> Is there an answer? Like an black lady. No, there's no, you got it. Yeah, you feel like an old black lady? Yeah, she's like, Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! You're an old black lady? You've changed a lot in one year. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna get this, Ninja Crusaders? Pretty darn fun game. Me and Aaron spent like, how long do we play this game for? A while. It's a good game. A long time. I'm still kind of in shock by what's going on right now. I'm game hunting in basically a swap meet that's only video games with nobody there except my friends and YouTube friends I've been waiting to meet for a long time. This is kind of mind blowing. Ooh look, Silver Surfer on the NES. I bet Ricky 20 bucks he can't beat the first level first try. Come on. Good choice. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a 
hard game. You just suck. You suck, Ricky. Well, we did get up at 4 a.m., so it's been kind of a long day, and now we all decide to go hang out and just go walk around the town, maybe grab a little bite to eat later. So we hop on a train or a tram or whatever this is I haven't done in a long time to go look for some food. That looks good. We can go to Freshie. Is it called Freshie? We can go to Freshie. There's fresh food. It's custom built. Sweet. We're like lost right now. We've been walking around for about 20 minutes looking for a place to eat. Greg's leading the posse, and now his phone's looking like these things weren't. It's even not real. a phone. It's literally like an iPad. Yeah, his phone's like this big. It's like a tablet. So, but we're kind of wandering around, and uh, now they're kind of going fast. We should probably start walking faster. So yeah, I actually mean we did get lost. We didn't find a place to eat or even a place to hang out for about an hour and a half until it was nighttime. I think we were all going a little crazy by that time towards the end of the night. He's like, <laughs> how are the wings? This, this year we just have a normal. The wings were actually really good. I go boneless because um, it's, it's a little harsh with the bones eating around them. And another thing, I'm kind of losing my voice right now, which is not good because we have a panel in two days. Dr. Pepper probably isn't helping, but I think I'm doing okay. I don't like water, but. He's like, <laughs> he's like. we've been hearing about quite often when people went to Portland last year was Ground Control Arcade. So we went and took the tram over and checked it out and boy, this place was rad. Think of ground control. It was great. It was grand. It was really cool, actually. I liked it a lot. A little hot. My voice is going out. But um, it was fun. I played some uh, Turtles in Time with Vintage. I played a lot of Raiden, myself, Donkey Kong. Uh, Greg's working on Robotron right now, and I think he's breaking like some scores or something, according to him. So Ricky is proof up there with him. So if he really does have a high score, Ricky will vouch for him. I like it. Oh, look at that. Look at this paparazzi right here. All right, this is all paparazzi for, He's edible. for Chris. He's edible. Twitter, here we come. Let's do it, thanks. Hey, wait, actually, actually, we got a picture Dude, that's of all so awesome. of you guys. I felt, I felt so legit right there. Chris, can I have your autograph? <laughs> no. Well, on our way back to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo to do a little bit more game hunting last minute, we got lost again. And well, this time we got lost for about an hour and a half, so we really killed some good game hunting time this time around. That's a very good one. Like Tomba 2 for, six, for, for 60. They got, um... We're looking at Demon's Crest because obviously you guys know Ricky has plenty to go around. So the definition of getting caught slipping is what you hear a lot of people ask. What happened right now is I got caught slipping. I was standing right next to Ricky and Ricky just got Demon's Crest for freaking eight dollars. But two hundred bucks for I don't know if the game's in there, but either way, Ricky. I can't imagine. So you got the original Fantasy Fantasy Star, Fantasy, fantasy star, star, which is my favorite Fantasy Star. If I'm honest. Conquers for 100 bucks. It's actually not that bad in the box because that game's pretty darn expensive, regardless. It's still blowing our minds that we get to walk around this place and shop freely without any customers around, technically. It's pretty wild. And about two minutes into it, I find a game that Ricky's been looking for for a very long time Sonic Blast Man. <laughs> I'm presenting Ricky with the gift that I just bought him. Here you go. You serious? Yeah, I just bought it. Awesome. Are you guys having a How did he know? He knew. I He's knew. such a good friend. We played that before together and Ricky loved it. So. Are you serious? Yeah. He's so nice. The Stein Ox! The Stein Ox! How much? Yes, it's here, but not for me, I guess. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> No, no, no. But Shut up. Yes. I gotta bring your attention to this one over here. It's, uh, yeah, look at this. Oh, my too. Final Fight Guide. Final Fight Guy. That's amazing. It's the Japanese version. Blockbuster only. Direct from Japan. Exclusive. It's amazing. 
it's, uh, it says in the front. It's Blockbuster exclusive. Yeah. Unreal. That's awesome. We got Bubble Bobble 2 right here, RC Pro Am 2. Snow Brothers, hey. Fox DuckTales 2. I've smoked. Very good. And well, right after that, Ricky runs into another NES game that he never really sees out in the wild. And well, I've never seen it either, so let's see if Ricky can get his hands on it for a good price. Defenders, Dynatron City. Five bucks. Sounds cool. Oh my gosh, my favorite yeah. game. Wait. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. not the game we've I'm all, looking for. We've all seen that. <laughs> it doesn't work. Poor Eric. What's up? This is 8 bit Eric. <laughs> He's, he's, he's still pissed about that. Oh, I, I, dude, poor guy. No one ever leaves him alone about it. <laughs> he gets to every video. People on my videos are like, Eric's not even in the video. Like, Eric got caught slipping this episode. Kidding? All the time. They're like, Eric got caught slipping. I'm like, what? Just to, just to goof, you know? I think that's the best. Yeah. That's like, the best thing to ever come out of our show. Our show is trash other than just Eric getting made fun of. <laughs> So to sum up our first day here in Oregon, well, I would use the word fantastic. Everything was great, including the people, the food, and the games. All of us here could go home extremely happy if we had to leave today, but that was just the pre-warm-up day. We have another full two days ahead of us of game hunting with friends. All I can say for now is stay tuned because you don't want to miss what we get. Next time on Retro Liberty. Hockey and Rocky 1 and 2. What, 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 what's the debate? Buy it, trade it, what are you guys doing? Buy. Wilson, yeah. how are you feeling about this? I want to give Ricky a good deal, man. I mean, you know, I'm a loyal subscriber. I guess it's going to be... On this episode of The NES Pursuit. I guess it's gonna be... Good job, Ricky. Higher. So it's officially day one of the Portland Retro Gaming Expo and we slept about two hours last night because we were out with everybody from YouTube and we're pretty exhausted but despite all that we all decided to meet up early because well we don't get to do this very often and go to Denny's. I know Denny's isn't known as the best food but when you're exhausted the breakfast tasted really good there. Gordy. Wow. <laughs> that is handsome. So we ate breakfast pretty early that morning because, well, we wanted to get into the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And I know we got in a day before, a day early, but we wanted to really go in and see the people and the cosplayers and the video games with everything set up. And with the arcades powered up and everything else going on, this was awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. That's the best thing about it. 
How long you been here? Uh, I got here at 6:45. Nice. Uh, See, I didn't I told expect. You I, I left my house at 6:30. I'm like, it'll take me like 20 minutes in traffic, find a parking space. No. So since we did get a little game hunting time the day before, like I said, one of the first things I decided to do is head over to the arcades with Greg. And I wanted to play a little bit of pinball, but mainly I wanted to play some Robotron because, well, Greg's pretty much a pro at this time, and I'm being serious, he's had a guy at his house recently that's one of the best in the world training him how to play. What would you say your top what in the world in Robotron? Um, there's uh, three of us in the past few years that have been basically equal, and there's a couple more coming up now. Where's the blue guy? Okay, so... Kill the red things as fast as possible. That's what you What are the red things? I can't even... I'm trying to look. Sorry, so, black. This so these things? Like these things. Oh, those. Okay, so those... The, the circle red. Yeah. Okay, I was make, looking at blocks. So pretty much make your way to the outside, get the family, kill the red things. Lessons from the expert. Great. No, I don't want to. I don't. We have to see the committed callus from Robotron. Right there. That, which finger is that? Can you guys see that right there? <laughs> right. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's committed. I didn't mean to flip you off. No. no. <laughs> you did. You did flip him off. That's not right. <gasps> How much are you looking to get for it? I do a hundred dollars. What if I trade Demon's Crest? I need cash. You need cash. Need cash. I'm sorry. You can sell Demon's Crest though. You'll get it out there. Somebody out was here. asking for that. What? But somebody wants it. X3. Dear Lord, I want this. What is it? Mega Man X3. I recently traded mine by uh, No trades right now, right? Huh? No, nah, no trades yet. I need trades, but I don't know, man. Well, sorry to spoil it, but Ricky didn't end up getting the Mega Man X3. But on the bright side, we run into a guy that we talk to all the time, but never in person. So it's pretty darn amazing to finally meet this guy, Metal Jesus. Damn you, Retro Liberty! Damn you! Here I got, uh, you know, see, I, I like Commodore PC yeah, stuff, yeah, so uh, some, some more Commodore games here. This is a badass RPG from back in the day that nobody knows about. Legacy of the Ancients. Is there an art on the back? I want to see. I mean, it, it looks totally old school. But hey, that's yeah, fun. Yeah. I like this guy right here. Oh, 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 and oh. and and. Space rocks. So if you have an Atari 2600, do you know how crappy uh, Asteroids was on yes, the Atari 2600? Yes, this is this is completely advanced. So wow. this actually has a cell. This has an ARM processor built onto the the uh, the cartridge to do and emulate the real game. Are you serious? It's amazing. That's really cool. And it's signed by the guy who created it. And the box is in condition. Yes. Barbie's pretty. Very good. Awesome stuff, sir. So. Great, great, great pickup. Good stuff. Have you tried that one. Oculus Rift? It's it's killer, isn't Have you it? Tried it? I've tried it. What? Aaron. Aaron. You jerk. You jerk. This is crazy. Now I know Ricky and I both get impressive pickups from time to time, and we get games that are pretty uncommon and pretty rare. But, well, it's kind of embarrassing when a 13-year-old kid works you. Signed by Kenny Baker. Flintstones. My mom's gonna watch this episode, so I can't. I paid two dollars for it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Please throw off the camera, please. Show us behind the cart. Can you show us the number you paid? No, he brought for me. I got. Sorry, Billy. We can't all get the game for five bucks. I love your mom. Well, since this is Ricky and I's first expo, we both kind of went crazy and split up every few seconds. We're running around like chickens with our heads cut off. Once again, we're looking for Ricky. He, this whole trip has been very... I guess I'm kind of that way. There's no method of like, hey, let's film game hunting. This is very free-for-all this weekend. So maybe it'll calm down tomorrow. 
after we uh, already got a lot of games, but he's over there. We've been looking for him. Now, one of the first channels I ever started watching on YouTube was SNESMAN16, and I found out he was coming this weekend, so we hooked up right away, and this was really cool. This guy was one of my first big inspirations. Hey, man. Is it really nice to meet you. Am I on camera right now? Yes. Oh, yeah. I don't have anything clever to say. Do you have anything clever to say? Uh, I am glad to be here, man. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm with my brethren, and I've waited for this day for eternity. <laughs> I'm glad we are brethren. It's been really awesome meeting up with you guys to watch our show. It really means a lot to us, and we spent a lot of time hanging out with you guys. Now it's time to head over to the Game Chasers panel. And one more question. Um, how do you feel about uh, Inafune um, making Mighty Number no. 9? Woo! Yeah, Jay, how do you feel? <laughs> um, I think it's great that that guy is funding. I think it's great for Mega Man fans all over the world. But honestly, I think Mega Man's overrated. I'm tired of hearing about it. But Dude, I'm just, I'm being honest. And I hate RPGs too, so y'all can throw tomatoes at me. Tears. 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 Jay hates everything. I hate animals. He hates the laughter of children. <laughs> So 8-Bit Eric, the Game Chasers, Happy Console Gamer, and Alpha Omega Sin had a really fun panel. But now we head back out into the expo and one of the first guys we see again is our buddy John, Gamester81. We would like to thank John for this. Taking out an ad in the Poland Retro Gaming Expo. Thank you, John. I appreciate you being a part of the site, man. Awesome. You're saying you're going to give away a Mary Kate Nash. So. Jerry, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, you guys did this last night. I just thought that's what you guys do. I, I, I didn't do that. I saw you guys. You, <laughs> no way. Uh, all right. It's inappropriate, I guess. Never mind. Never mind. So, the most amazing thing happened. I found, I actually found a game from my list. Captain Commando. Well, Captain Commando was the unofficial mascot of Capcom when they first started. Oh, awesome. oh my gosh, I love this game. Finally found it. They wanted 60, I went for 50. They took it. And we're here with someone who watched the show since the beginning. Uh, what's your name? Melissa. Melissa. Hi. Very nice to meet her. Very we like excited. to say thank you to everybody who watches. So thank you, Melissa. Yeah. And her thank husband. You. You're Eric. Eric, you're not here right now, so haha. <laughs> So as I'm wandering around this expo, taking my time, really taking it all in, hanging out with everybody and trying to talk to everyone as much as I can, I'm realizing something. Everybody's getting a ton of games here. Except me. You guys want to see what I got? Yeah. Alright, hold on. This is super new uh, Mario, let's see, Super Mario World Returns to D Dino Land. Have you heard of this? Nope. It's a fan hack for the Super Nintendo. It's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, what else? What else? Oh, this is the game that never released, the, the Capcom Raisins for the NES. Capcom, actually it's a complete game, never came out. Got a whole bunch of crazy stuff in here. Sweet. So I've got uh, Indiana Jones Greatest Adventure. Man. Nice. And uh, my most proud one is Battletoads, Battle Maniacs. So, 22, oh. 22 bucks. I like that the best. That's really? the biggest, the, the hardest sounding punches. The feet, the, I, I swear, for some reason, the punches, they sound, they sound deep and warm. When you hit it, it's like, bony, 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 bony. I think it's really cool how well we all got along here in Portland. We all just seemed like we already knew each other and there was no awkwardness or introduction weirdness. It was just fun to hang out with friends. Everybody make sure you're looking good. It's gonna be a big blur right there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Is that blood on the bag? What are all these games? These are the prizes. These are the Nintendo games. Prizes for our panel tomorrow. Sweet. What the heck? <laughs> what are you doing, man? I'm washing my hands right now. I feel so gross that they're hot, like handling all those games today. I don't blame you. I'm like very anal. Or not washing my face. I know you guys know that, but I feel gross really easy. I always do a good wipe down of the body. We all decided to go over and eat at a place called Burgerville, which they don't have in California, so it was fun for us California guys to come out here and eat. And it was really good, but after that, we all got antsy and went straight back to the arcades in the expo. I can't get enough of arcades, especially when they're set to free play. But John tells me something weird about this one arcade game that I had no idea about. It's kind of creepy. 
So yeah, apparently this game came out in '85, and they have like a missing kids thing, like pictures of missing kids from the early '80s. It's crazy. Like, dude, that's crazy. 1977, 1981. He's four. This is uh. He's two, three years old at this point. Wow. Hey, have you ever seen that arcade before? No, I've never seen <laughs> yeah. that in an arcade. To program like a missing kid. Would you, how would you feel about having an arcade that did that? Yeah. I'm chafing. It's like, hey guys, come on, let's play in the arcade. <laughs> oh. Dude, what's even crazy? What if that was you back in the day? Like you're playing this and it's like your picture as a kid. America. And it's Captain Vintage. Wow. Don't you forget it. You're a hipster, Aaron. <laughs> Say what you will. Well, that was a lot of fun, but now it's time to head over to... Wait, what was that again? I'm chafing. Those are sweet. Girls. Nut... <laughs> nut cream. Is that like the peanut butter? I don't think that will help. Or some... But I really don't want to harp... You I don't some kind of medicated oink. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to really harp on this issue, you know? I don't want this to be a Make central sure. theme of the episode. Just what, the crotch rod? Ring around the rosy or something, I don't know. <laughs> like, Chris, we, Chris, honestly... Wait a, minute, we, we, wait a minute, Chris's crotch rod. No. That's, that's, hey, your name is Chris, too. Yeah, but, be, <laughs> but between uh, Jay wanting to see things and... I'm not in the habit of showing my butthole to anybody. And this, I, it's oh really disturbing. Right, stop it. Good. Now I know normally our show doesn't harp in on this kind of stuff, but I thought it was pretty funny. And well, when me and Ricky weren't there, the Portlandian was working on some special scheme at Voodoo Donuts, so let's see what he has planned. So we're going to be getting the f***ing here at Voodoo Donuts, 525, it's a pretty cheap donut, but what it's going to be is it's just going to be a big old f***ing like maple bar. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it in half somehow so it looks like it's like a maple bar and maybe like a double donut stuck together so that maybe uh, we'll have Aaron eat the maple bar and have Ricky eat the the double donut stuck together. And it's just gonna be wonderful for the 525 this is gonna cost us. It's gonna be amazing holiday. So last time we came to Portland and we went to Voodoo Donuts, that's when Metal Jesus seduced me. So I'm, I'm kind of hoping that someone else will seduce me with a donut this time. Oh dear. Welcome to the Voodoo Donut Bacon Maple Bar. <laughs> oh, oh look, or this is like romance right here. So while they were at Voodoo Donuts, we were at some place called McMeanamins. I can't remember the name. And well, drunken Master Paul and I were acting like a bunch of two-year-olds there, playing pranks on everyone. But now that I think about it, wasn't there a prank being played on me and Ricky? Oh, Voodoo Delicious. So the bright lights. Dude, that, good. that is bunch that of one donut. Thank you. Oh my god, that's bigger than your head. What'd you guys do to it? This is gonna be a big old <laughs> What's wrong with the cream? <laughs> that's not custard. The next morning. Sorry, these guys were all sleeping, but I decided to go look for some games. Still Got Blackthorn. <laughs> And I had to get Rambo because it's Rambo. Come on. Uh, 20 bucks, it's not bad. I think this game goes for. What would you guys say? Like, like 30 bucks. Good deal. Aaron's pretty mad that I didn't get out footage though. But he was asleep, to be fair. Asleep. It's asleep. pretty normal though that he skips out on footage, right, Ricky? Yeah, but. Yeah. I woke, I went to bed last night and John somehow managed to take my bed, Gamester, and then I woke up freezing and I look over and Greg's gone and he's in the bed all of a sudden. <laughs> like, how did this happen? I uh, saw you on the ground, I was like... I'm freezing too last night. <laughs> and you wanted to turn on the AC? I was just freezing. This beautiful morning we head out to the expo floor and right away we're meeting a ton of you guys, which is awesome. <laughs> Just like Ocarina of Time. Just like it. You might as well call me Link. 
So as we're preparing for our panel this morning, again, we're meeting a ton of you guys, and this is really blowing our minds. We truthfully didn't expect that many people to even have any idea who we were, so we're super thankful, you guys. She just offered me three games. Awesome. Honestly, who was first? She, Which games? So I picked out the Lost Vikings. Fun. I wanted it, and... Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so after meeting a bunch of you amazing people, it's time for our panel. Good luck, Ricky. Thank you. I'm nervous. So if you didn't know, our panel consisted of Ricky and I, Chris from NES Complex, and Greg from Arcade Impossible. And let me just be honest and right up front with you guys. We didn't expect that many of you guys to come, but you did. A whole bunch of you guys actually even cared to ask us questions. So many of you were eager to play our music challenge. It was just awesome. All four of us after this panel really did say that. It was such an amazing crowd. You ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mario Brothers. Mario Okay. I think we all felt the panel was really successful for one reason. Not that more people heard about our show, but that people were laughing and having fun and staying involved. That's really what our goal was in this panel. Can you spell Sonic the Hedgehog? Yes. Backward. <laughs> we have to make this more challenging. No, no, no. Okay, all right, let's go. Here, I'm gonna pick it. You're gonna get Castlevania on Nintendo 64. Oh, yeah. And I to watch kids fight. That's good. Right? <laughs> All right, let's wait for waiting. Which kid's going to get her here? Me. 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 It was brilliant. I loved everything about it. And I can speak for Ricky and NES Complex and Greg and, well, everybody else that was there. We couldn't stop talking about this. Like I said before, the friends, the games, the fun, the food, just the atmosphere of the whole retro gaming community, you guys. It was something special, and I cannot wait to go back next year. It's the number one go-to place on my list for next year. Wait a second, literally on our way out the doors of the expo, we were stopped and Ricky was offered something. Hockey and Rocky 1 and 2, what, 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 what's the debate? Buy it, trade it, what are you guys doing? Buy. Wilson, yeah. how are you feeling about this? I want to give Ricky a good deal, man. I mean, you know, I'm a loyal subscriber. Well, thank you, Wilson. We, we <laughs> talked to you a lot this weekend. You're a good man. What are you going to do, Ricky? I might just have to get one. I do. I'm. I'm bumming. Which one are you gonna buy then? I don't know. Now I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Pocky and Rocky One and Two are both really expensive games and quite uncommon. And Ricky's been wanting them, but it is the end of our trip. So can Ricky really afford this? I guess it's gonna be. Part two. Pocky and Rocky 2. Ricky went with Pocky and Rocky 2. Well, that's another game checked off the list for Ricky. It's one that he's been wanting for a while, and while it's expensive, he still did get a good deal. But now it really is time to walk out of the expo and say goodbye till next year. Weekend. It was fun hanging, dude. Couldn't have done it without you. For real. I will have to visit you guys sometime. That's a definite thing that's going to happen. It's fun, man. I appreciate everything. Yeah, if you ever come down, we will help you the same way you helped us. So we appreciate it. They don't want to let Ricky back in America. We're in America. <laughs> oh, and you back in California. In America. Normally when I hop on an airplane after any vacation that's over like a day long, I'm normally pretty ready to go back home, but that's not the case with this. I'm kind of sad that I'm not going to see these guys again for another year. A couple of them I will see here and there, but a lot of them I won't. So with that said, here we go, heading back to sunny Southern California. And you guys know where to find us. We'll be back at the swap meets the next weekend, looking for these games, hunting in our hometown.
Jack said. 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 Jack Good job, guys. Yeah. This year, oh. that was Woo. sick. A whole year, man. I think we did good for our first year of NES Pursuit. Uh, it was amazing, honestly. Yeah. So and we, far, it's a lot of fun. Good. Ricky and I have been talking, though, a lot. A lot. And, uh, We've been talking a lot. We wanted to talk to you in particular. What? What, 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 actually what are you brought you here for a reason? Yeah, we brought you here for a reason. We've just been looking at a lot of the, the videos. I was kind of doing a montage looking back at the old videos. and The camera angles have been off, and it's no hard feelings or anything, but we just have been talking a lot. and we Kidding, have, right? No, it, well, Ricky was main, mainly the one who brought it up, but uh, we decided we have someone in store. Sorry, He's actually Sorry, here, Chris. hanging out. Um, a little bit there. A dog? Dog's gonna be the cameraman. A few months ago, my SD card got corrupted and all my footage was lost. That was until I contacted Greg from Arcade Impossible, gave him my SD cards, and he recovered this lost footage. So on this fine, sunshiny day, we're hanging out in Ricky's game room and, well, we're hanging out with our friends GameStraty1 and NES Complex. We're trying out GameStraty1's new amazing video game, and we're going to go game hunting. But first, some food. So, Aaron, if you get I another one, too. It's still all, br like, <laughs> scraped and right? looks bad because it's peeling, Here. so. Cool, man. Yep. I'm going to be, uh, three is enough for me. Three's good. Dude, once you're outnumbered, it's over. Yeah. It's, it's, she's good right now, so it's easier because she's sleeping half the time, yep. but I can tell, you know. We went to the swap meet with the kids this weekend. Oh, man. And it was, it was just terrible. That was funny, though. I was just like, this is almost a waste of time. Nicole, how do you feel about the swap meet today? It's very hot today. It's kind of a not a good swap meet day. I'm going to be, I'm not. being for real right now. Yeah. All the kids are crying and everybody's sweating. Every time I walk it two is. feet in front of the kids, one would start screaming and I can, you know, my wife's not going to yell at me and be like, get back here. You know, but I look back and see in her eyes, like, help me, you know? Yeah, yeah. So now we're headed to our local book off where we have a lot of imports and Japanese games, and we really wanted to show Chris and games for this place because they've never seen it. Can you see that? That's a beautiful thing, actually. That's very nice. Everyone knows the uh, rap. Did you like it or hate it, the rap, when you first heard it as a kid? Did you know it? Yeah, I wasn't. Okay, Donkey Kong. I didn't like it. It, it, it kind of bugged me, yeah. for real, and it still kind of does, to be honest. I know people contend. It's actually a pretty fun game. Yeah, Mickey Speedway. Yeah, that is a great, yeah. great racing game. If you don't yeah, know that, it's it's uh kind of underrated. It's rare. Yeah. It's rare so. Hey, it's by Red. I actually didn't know that. After Diddy Kong Racing, so it's even, in some ways, more improved. Now, I know we've discussed this before on the show, but it really is fun to look at different cover arts, like from Japan and Europe and anywhere besides what the normal is of what you're used to looking at. <laughs> is this Mario Sunshine or what is that? Mario Party. Party 1. Mario Party 1. No, it's one. It's just yeah, the dice is a three. One. I'm just kidding. I oh, know. No, you're not. No, you're <laughs> not. Nice <laughs> attempt. Good. Dude, I love their boxes for these Game Boy Advance. These little tiny deals. It's so cool. That looks really cool. I like it. I never even little seen half that. boxes. I do play Mario Party games. That's terrible. Hey, look at Chris. This guy is a legendary flutist. That's what it says on top. William Kincaid. I don't know if he's related to. Steve. He plays the skin flute. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, Thomas Kincaid, <laughs> the painter. Yeah, yeah. Did you I see William? I said Stewart. Stewart, Stewart Kincaid. Stewart. <laughs> that's your grandfather, right? That's your grand. My grandfather? <laughs> Wait, how do you know my grand? <laughs> how can you mend so the first one a better. broken heart? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Not by listening to that. So it was really a good time to hang out with them, but right after this is pretty much when our SD card broke. But we did manage to get one little phone call in to a good friend of ours. Hi, Vintage. It's Aaron. Yes, I know. I have a program. Hey, dude. It's Chris. What's up? Chris, that's Chris the cameraman? No, Chris, as in uh, NES Complex. Oh, hello. How are you? Hold on. Good. Hey, what's up? Vintage, what's going on? Do you know who this is? Third person. Are you still going to be like always together now? <laughs> yeah, we're friends now. <laughs> we just wanted to say hi to you. You'll always be number. <laughs> like real world. Yeah, that'd be awesome. The game gamer world. Real gamers of OC. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I don't think their wives would really want me living with them. So a few weeks later, we kind of randomly met up with somebody else from YouTube that you guys might know, Scott from JHMDF. <laughs> Scott, say hi. Say hi. Are you excited to play Magic? Uh, I actually used to, but... Did you really? Did you, like 10 years ago. What's your favorite uh, spell? Uh, if that's a thing. <laughs> I don't even know. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Um, I don't remember. Okay, The good. best, the good one that everyone likes. Oh, that one's awesome. Black one. Lotus. It has, oh, okay, yeah. good, yeah. I think that was one of them. So this store is actually pretty cool, but we didn't have too much room because of the magic tournament going on, and we didn't want to seem like douchebags and tell everyone to get out of the way, so we just kind of dealt with it. The place was really cool, though. Uh, a little crispy. Yeah. So anyways, Aaron's getting mad at me because I'm not... I wasn't going to film this, so I'm sorry. <laughs> he's like, he's pretending he's never been on video. He's like, they're just like talking about stuff, showing it to each other. And Classic just... Rick. Classic <laughs> Rick. Never getting anything on film. What are you looking at? Too soon. <laughs> Digimon 4, Digimon World. What's the normal going rate? I don't know, 35 or something? But I actually used to enjoy this cartoon show. Really? Oddly enough, I think I was old enough to... I was like 13, 14, I was like... Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, it's like when people are like, do you watch Power Rangers? And I was like, no. <laughs> are you going to get it? I think so. Are you going to get it? <laughs> I was waiting for you to put it back down. So since we met late at night during the middle of the week, we really didn't have much time together. So we hung out at Chipotle and got some food. But then we also filmed our goodbyes on each of our own videos for our own channels. <laughs> Ricky only speaks Spanish when he's not on camera. I did not know that. And now they won't talk at all. True fact. <laughs> See, Ricky? See. See. Yes. All right, say bye. Bye. All right. Oh! Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> on my own video. That's a yes. Yes. Good <laughs> deal. Whoa. Well, we don't cuss on your show. Yeah, yeah I got that, that on film. This, this, <laughs> this is the second goodbye. That's like a, uh, in, what's it, what's that what, movie? Inception. Yeah, Inception oh, Slap. slap. Oh, you have to watch both videos Yeah, you have together. to watch both. At, uh, two different monitors. Yes. Well, that's, yeah. That would be true. That's true. So while we were in Portland a couple weeks ago, we talked to Tyler and Terry from Luigi Freakout 123 quite a bit. And something else we discovered from them is they were coming to California to go to Disneyland just a couple weeks after the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And from what we know, there's not many swap meets up in Oregon, so we knew where to take them, down to our home turf to our swap meets. <laughs> Fighting Force 2. I used to like Fighting Force 2 a lot. It was a game I played quite a bit as a kid. And I remember my mom used to get mad at me saying there was too much fighting. And I would say that's probably because it's called Fighting Force and that's how it should be. It's a nice bike. I like it. So what do you guys think of the bike? I like it. I like it. I could start a business with this bike. You could put games back there and just roll around the neighborhood. No, I could I could sell like sodas on a hot day, like a shirtless day. 
As we're hanging out, I see Tyler walk away to a place by himself, and he looks at me with this smirk on his face. What's he up to? I have a feeling he got something. So, depression is setting in for me today. I uh, see Tyler looking at this guy, and I see him making a big old smirk on his face, this grin. And I'm thinking, what is this darn kid that we brought into our hometown to look for games with? What did he find? And I see, I see this. So I'm like, all right, what are we, what are we doing? So I'm like, a little, like little Avengers. uncommon Bible event, maybe you know, tet even Tension Tetris, but that's not Tension Tetris. I, I, whatever, <laughs> black from far away. Super Mario Bros. And he tells Bros. me he got it for a buck. And Sunday Fun Day. It's Sunday Fun Day. For a dollar, it's a really good game. Uh, it's it's a skateboarding game. Uh, I'll be honest, I actually enjoyed this game. It, it's fun. You're on your way to church, and ever the whole world's trying to stop you from going. But it's pretty funny. The controls are really wacky. And your but, Sunday teacher is just being a huge, you know, jerk to you. She's like, you better get down to Sunday but school. But Tyler, for this, <laughs> high five. Oh! <laughs> so after I just realized that I slapped a 13 year old kid, I felt kind of bad, but not after they find the next thing. It was a little out of my price range anyway, but I've never seen this. How much? 50 bucks. So what did they get that's worth 50 bucks at a swap meet? Let's find out. Is, is sometimes, like I've never seen one before. I've never even heard and of it. And the thing that sold me was it had Mr. Miyamoto's name on a certificate of authenticity. It's gotta make a watch. So, something. Mr. Miyamoto. Yeah, it's, it's pretty darn cool. It has all four pieces, but certificates are too. Yeah, pull that up. Go on the camera. Mr. Miyamoto. Jigeru Miyamoto. Alright, so I'll admit I'm happy for them, but I haven't really found anything and everything that I do find is too expensive. But I happen to run across about five games that are worth a good amount of money. Can I get them for a good deal? There's four different. It's okay, I'm awesome. Gonna, I'm gonna show the camera what I have. Ricky, oh. Ricky, what I have here I paid $15 for. What do you think it is? Uh, little Samson. Mario Kart 64, Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong Classics, and Super Mario 3. And it was supposed to be, the guy wanted four bucks each, I ended up get getting them all you for, get for 15 bucks. Does he have anything Ding else? Dong. No, he doesn't have anything else. He had a Nintendo 64, but it was actually overpriced. When I asked him, he like seemed like he had no idea what a video game was. So, <laughs> chalk one up for me. Classic, Ricky. I hate Aaron. Yes! and the good games we got this week, it was a really fun video for me to edit. I mean, hanging out with Scott from JHMDF, Game Street one and NES Complex, Tyler and Terry from Luigi Freakout 123, I'm just super thankful for this week. This was definitely an awesome way for us to start off our first episode after our first year of the NES Pursuit. I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And we're Retro Liberty. And welcome to our one year, we're finally over a year old video. So weird. It is weird. I know we put out a little video on Wednesday just because we wanted to have a video out on the actual birthday, I guess, or birthday or anniversary? Anniversary? Anniversary. Yeah, anniversary of our channel. <laughs> well, sounds like a list, but it's cool. Dude. And what better way in our video? I mean, gosh, we got our footage recovered from Greg from Arcade Impossible of NES Thanks, Greg. Games. I know. Good job, Game Classic 31. Greg. And we had uh, footage from JHMDF, Scott, and uh, Tyler and Terry came to California, so. Uh, that's a lot of people. It was, <laughs> and I had to kind of condense it into a time frame that worked, so. With that said, let's just get into what we got throughout the couple weeks. We got a ton of stuff, but we're kind of saving them. Like you guys know, we like to show five-ish at a time, and if it's your first time watching us, that's kind of what we do. We just show about five of the things we wanted to show. Show five? Do yes. top five. Number five. That's like, a five. I want to do a top five next week, maybe. I'm not making promises. Like that. But um, go ahead, Ricky. First off, I'll start off with uh, Mighty Final Fight 2 with Manuel. Not Mighty Final Fight 2, just Final sorry. Fight 2. <laughs> I got Mighty Final Fight in my head. I don't know why I'm Because we were just talking about it right before. We both want Mighty Final Fight stuff. <laughs> yeah, Final Fight 2, awesome game. Beat em up. Pretty fun. Final Fight Part 1 in the Super Nintendo was single player, and the 
this, changed it, and made it Dos Equis. Dos so, Equis. What's Equis mean? X. X's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Okay, next game. Alright, I got a wave bird. Did someone say Mario Party again? No. How come the Technos characters never look like they do on the cover? This is what they really look like. Yeah, but you can fight, so that's the cool thing. It's doing hurdles, but you can do like roundhouse kicks and are running, swim swimming, swimming. Like, Swimming's awesome. Yeah, you can like round each other. Stuff. That's sick. So. Oh, that was fun. Good we recommendation. Play that again. Yeah. Marvel superheroes for the Sega Saturn. I don't have too many Sega Saturn games. And yeah. Awesome game. This is like what, like when Marvel vs. Capcom, like oh the heydays. That's some of my favorite fighting type games. Um, like the big character animations, the cartoony. I love that like super hyper combo fighting. So. I can't remember if this is the one with Gambit where he throws all the cards. God, I love that one. Let me see what Ricky's doing. Yeah. Are you pretending to be Gambit? Yeah. What a freaking door! It's my turn. So some of the things I got, um, I didn't show this in the video because our footage was kind of jacked up of part of the day, but I got Ghouls and Ghosts on the Genesis <laughs> for five bucks. So awesome. That was cool. This guy that we go to, he sells like any game for Genesis for five bucks. Five bucks, dude. Oh, nice. So it's pretty cool, and this is a fantastic game. If you guys don't know, it's a lot like Super Ghouls and Ghosts on the Super Nintendo. Just a little bit different, you know, differences in certain cool. parts. It's a great game. But I got Super Mario 64, which is brilliant. If you guys oh. haven't played this, which I doubt, but maybe you haven't. If you haven't, it's so fun. I'm not even that much into like 3D world exploring games, but this is fantastic to me. Um, the water level music in this game, uh, Dire Dire, I think it's called, is one of the best things in the world. Fantastic. Some memorable moments in that game. Mario Kart 64. My personal Mar favorite it's Mario Kart. It's the best Mario Kart. I'm sorry. My favorite too. I just I love it. I think it's the the heyday for us, our age time. Yeah. Where we were like really that smash. Is yeah. Just like yep. Like that smash was amazing. Smash! 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 Okay, this is awesome. I did have this box complete with everything in it, and I was able. My dad was able to get me the Game Boy Pocket itself, the matching color. For five bucks. Ooh. So this is complete now with everything in it, all the inserts, the plastic, the manuals, the booklets, whatever. So this is awesome to have. That is the only problem with jealous. the Game Boy Pocket is that it doesn't have a backlight. But <laughs> my dad, while he was at the garage sale, also found something else for five dollars. And some of you guys may know from Instagram or Facebook if you follow us on there. But if you don't, uh -oh. for five bucks, I got a Game Boy Light. And if you guys don't know what this is, it is, um, I was only released in Japan and on eBay right now, these are pretty much all a hundred bucks. It's, yeah. I, I type, when I posted this, a lot of guys who collect pretty hard for these systems, like OKG420 okay, and those guys were saying, they've been looking for one of these for a long time for a good price. So my dad killed it by getting this and it does have a backlight so you can play Game Boy in the dark. How am I supposed to play my Game Boy? Game Boy Live! Ooh, very awesome to have. I'm super thankful for my dad for finding it. And I got a ton of Pokemon games for two bucks each. We gotta go also, with him next time. Yeah, we gotta take my dad. Hey. So he knows what he's doing. He's a hustler, honestly. He like really is. Swap, or yard yeah. sales. Yeah. Swap. My dad said that when he went there, they had a box of video games and people were like coming to take it. My dad said he was elbowing people saying he already bought the whole box. He just lied. So I was like, that's not what we need to start doing. Start hustling people. Seriously. But hey, that's it. Don't forget to like the video, you guys. This is our one year back, um, our one year celebration video, I guess you could say. So please, like the video keep us motivated to keep going for more years to come and I know I don't want to sound like we're begging for likes but it really does <laughs> pretty much do this for free so yeah it's just fun and uh, uh comment subscribe please subscribe we're here every week also join us on Instagram Facebook and Twitter you guys are super involved in all those now more Seriously, than ever yeah Facebook went from like a thousand likes in like a year to almost two thousand likes two weeks after that wow. so hey and another thing a guy from a company named Max Shirts and More, out of the kindness of his heart, made us these. I'm gonna turn around so they can see them. Yeah, these Retro Liberty shirts, and 
A lot of people when we posted on our Instagram were asking how to get them, and we said we don't know yet because he only made us yeah. four, which was awesome of him for my Thank brother, you, man. our Honestly. cameraman Chris, and me and Ricky. So we were gonna kind of show you guys and not say, oh, buy shirts because we haven't even ordered them. But if you do want one, just tell us, you know, whether it's in a message, a personal message, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, just let us know so we can kind of gauge if people do want them, how many we should order. You know, we don't want to order 300 if 20 people want them. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, wow, we're broke. Yeah, thank you again, you guys, and uh, just have a good day. I missed. That was pathetic. That'll make up for it. Did some puppy say barrio party? Ricky's speaking in Spanish. Wow. Very well. I'm gonna go uh, go eat my leftover Chipotle. I lost my job too. <laughs> I don't even I have a job. Did someone say Mario party again? Ah yes, game hunting on a Saturday morning, and there's a special occasion this morning. Well, let's just say for some reason we had to go to Ricky's dad's house and pick up a truck. What could we be getting that makes us need a truck? Well, let's watch and see. So I just asked Aaron if he wanted an Altoid, and Aaron, what'd you say? I said, how many calories are in it? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm just messing, but we're at Ricky's dad's house right now, and if you can see that sign behind me, um, I'm not kidding, we're at Ricky's dad's house. His dad has a pretty sweet house. <laughs> we just got in Ricky's dad's car, and all the stations are Spanish. Seriously? That's uh, Aaron's new name from now on, we're Gustavo. Yeah, we're picking up a truck, by the way, because we're picking up something pretty insane today, so we had to get a truck from Ricky's dad. And uh, we won't say what it is, we'll wait till you guys get to see it in physical form. So, we're excited, but we have to do a lot of work to get it today, so. So this is Aaron with Ricky, I forgot what I was gonna say. But the NES Pursuit. Da -da 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 -da. So now we're headed down to my buddy Kyle's house. He's actually the one who gave me a call yesterday and said he was at a garage sale and found something. When he called me, I was ecstatic, and he paid for it and put it on hold for us. Let's find out what it is. Uh, that thing looks sick. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. So it's a one solid piece together, or is that one solid piece okay. together? Yeah. Okay. So we should. You think we should hold it, keep it upright? When we... Uh, you can keep it upright, or you could lay it down and lay it down on its backside. Okay. And that'll be fine. We'll figure it out. So when we showed up here at this place, we must admit we were pretty ecstatic. We thought this thing was gonna be a lot cheaper quality, but this thing's like real metal and everything works. The lights light up, the signs light up, the GameCube ports work, the fans work. This is amazing. Here's a fan too, which is pretty cool actually. So it won't overheat. There's a outlet back here with a whole bunch of outlets. And it looks like the controllers come through here. Two right here and two right here. So, man. And the lights all work and stuff, he said, so like this is going to be... Nintendo. This is pretty ridiculous. Good job, Kyle. Find you nice. <laughs> Kyle found this for us, by the way. So. How's Thank it going, you, Kyle? <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Can we just lay it then? Let's uh, lay it. Yeah. Let, me, let me, like, get it. Me and Art will go in there. Down and then... Me and Art will... This thing, by the way, is, like, sturdy. Are you going to put the, uh, something underneath? Oh, we have a... Oh, there's a blanket inside. You guys okay? Yeah. 
Now we do still have some game hunting to do today in this area, so in the meantime, we're gonna drop off this kiosk on the side of Kyle's house. So that's really nice of him to let us store it there for the day. Darn Ricky, classic Ricky, not thinking about film. <laughs> so as we pulled up, we realized that there's no way in heck this thing's fitting in my game room. My game room is like six foot, maybe two, and this is probably eight and a half feet. So it might be going in Ricky's room. But it might be. We'll see. But, however, we do have that opening in the shed where we didn't put a... Yeah, but then it'll hide the GameCube sign. <laughs> it'll just say GameCube, no Nintendo. I'm just curious to see how your wife is going to feel when we pull up with this. As your wife. So something Kyle didn't tell me when we were on the way to his house is that he's going to bring a bunch of his old Nintendo games and Super Nintendo games out. He doesn't really play. He likes to have some games, but he said he might be willing to sell some of these. Mega Man Soccer. Secret of Mana. Mega Man X. Yoshi's Island. Ooh, Adventure Island. So Kyle has some fantastic titles, and I mean really fantastic, but we're gonna talk about it a little later because we're getting hungry and it's time to go to the Swami. We head out to a place called Archibalds, which we've never been to. They don't really have them exactly in our area, and I know I'm supposed to eat them on diet, but oh well. Sweet, <laughs> I like it, it looks cool inside. How's your pound burrito? It's good. How come you didn't choose the salmon salad? That, that thing looked gross. I like salad too. That looked like fake salmon. That looked like salmon from a can. I'm proud of you. I know. I don't know. I'm thinking now I might have to rethink this whole thing. Like maybe every Sunday eat good because this is like our guy's day, you know? So I don't know. Get in my belly! Well, that place was really good and I'm a little too full right now. But now it's time to play a little joke on Ricky over here. <laughs> oh, what? He's gonna do it. <laughs> what did you guys do? Dude, look under the seat. There's nothing under there, stupid. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. We're in Chino Hills today. Chino. 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 Uh, thanks, Kyle. And we haven't been here in a long time, and normally we do really bad because we come too early, but it's like 8.30, so it's time to go. Goodbye. How much is a Super Nintendo? Super Nintendo? 50 for everything. Oh, for everything? That's not yeah. bad. He was saying 50 bucks for the, the system, the controller, and all the games and stuff. That's not bad. A lot of people nowadays are trying to sell them for like 50 for the system, so. And five bucks for the Game Boy games. Ricky's looking at this. Let me see. There's two of them. Trying to Kirby Nightmare better. in Dreamland. So, I never played it too much, but it's a game I should have played more because Kirby games are awesome. Nightmare in Dreamland. How much, Ricky? Five bucks. Good job. There was the second one. I probably should have picked it up, but for five bucks also. Yeah. Yeah, we got plenty. Right. Ricky, cool. you can't hoard the games, and other people can't find them. I can trade with them. Pe people, if you guys like my hoarder, games. hoarder. Ricardo Avila has been hoarding since 1999. He struggles daily to live a life without retro video games and collecting. He must seek help from professionals in order to recover from his addiction. Ricardo's wife has threatened to leave him if he does not stop. Okay, that's not true. Dude, look how the Hulk looks. That is seriously how I look with my shirt off. Hey, Big fat waddle. What? Seven for all of them. Shut up. <laughs> oh, like seven for all of them. I was like, seven bucks for one. I would if they weren't plastic. They're like very, uh, you know, plasticky cheap. But if they were like, Ricky found one recently that was like a metal, or not metal, yeah, I think it was metal, Donkey Kong, like a bobblehead. He got it for like two bucks and it's a legit one. So there's some My Little Pony stuff behind you, Chris. I know you're into that brony stuff. No, he's not. So normally when Ricky and I go to the swap meet, which we have been here a few times, we always go right when it first opens and we don't see anything. Although today it is expensive, we are seeing a lot of stuff, which is always kind of fun and rewarding, even if it's overpriced. It's always nice to at least see video games. Let's see if I find anything else. That's pretty cool. Yeah, kept them uh, classic collection. They put it out, I think in like 14, 12. Um, it was actually the second amendment. Um, in the first parable, um, the house declared it as the greatest game of that time period. So, um, and then Kanye wrote a song about it starring Beyonce. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. 
So I didn't find anything that day at this swap meet. I got the GameCube kiosk that morning, so that's pretty awesome, but we decided to leave and go to a garage sale. And well, this happens. Hey, I'm gonna grab a big stack. Final Fantasy stuff. Seal Final Fantasy. What? Yes! Sword of the Berserk. It's an old Dreamcast game Ricky and I used to play. And there's some very, like, kind of perverted sounding stuff in there. They name the characters like Balzac. Oh, the adorable puck! I've never seen one. That's his name. So it's okay, like. That, that's totally true. And this is sealed, by the way. <laughs> so let me just be honest with you guys. We got sealed Final Fantasy games. We got a bunch of Dreamcast games. And, well, I think you guys might need to start calling me the Pokemon Master because, well, I got more. And guess how much I paid? Yeah, $4 each again. You know me and Pokemon. We go back all the way to last week. <laughs> yeah, so we're excited on the way home, but we still gotta go back and pick up our GameCube kiosk from Kyle's house, and we're pretty freaking excited to take this thing home. We've been thinking about it all day. Even though we did just get a bunch of good games, we did not stop thinking about this. I'm honestly getting giddy just thinking about this thing. Aaron's really psyched about today. Probably, literally, probably the, like one of the best pickups ever for us. It's not going anywhere. Seriously. Yeah, Kyle, thanks to you, man. Thanks to Kyle. Know. Kyle, I know, Kyle Power. It's just... Seriously, yeah. you're good luck, dude. Oh, Kyle, do you have any words? This is mine. Oh, this thing's broken. Not had a good day. Walking around, seeing what you guys do. Damn. Do best. Kyle does so, uh, the show, so it's nice. Yeah, I do. Since, since yesterday, I started watching. Shut up! <laughs> Liar. He watches them. He better. He says he does. Do you guys remember what happened a little earlier in the video? We were looking through Kyle's trunk of all his good Super Nintendo games and Nintendo games. It's time to dig into these. So the games I was getting from Kyle are Super Adventure Island, Mega Man X, he has two of them, so, uh, Secret of Mana, Mega Man Soccer, what was the other one? That's all you said. That was all I said? Are you sure? Okay, well <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I was, I'm, ba I'm paying 20 bucks. So, and as you guys that's know, a steal. that's a steal. Secret of Mana, Mega Man Soccer, Mega Man X, Super Adventure Island. It is a steal. I know it is. So, I well, think you Since I, I know it will be better hands. In better hands. Yeah. So, all right, what else? What do I want to buy? Anything else I want to buy? Asking if there's anything else I want to buy is kind of a stupid question. Yeah, I kind of want to buy them all, to be honest. But I can't take them all. Kyle doesn't want to sell all of them, so let's see what we can get. That one's cool. You want to do another 20? You said I had a double of this? You have a double of this. And these, I don't know, you have this, you have this. Did Ricky and I get anything else? Stay tuned for the end of the video, when we'll show you what we got. Dude, I miss playing back in the day. Man. Feels good just to have a guitar around my neck again. And to be honest, I'm not the guy that played guitars low, I was a low playing guitar player. I mean a high playing guitar player. Like the Beatles type. Johnny Cash style. You dirty old ex again how I like it. So we just kind of hung out for a little while, which was really fun, and looked at some of the stuff in Kyle's house. Then we headed home. It's now time to try to get this thing into Ricky's house. He doesn't really come up with a game plan on if it's going to fit in the room or not. But hey, let's go for it. <laughs> Send it up. No, I can't send it up right there. Should we yeah. back up? Wait up. Whatever you do, don't drop it. <laughs> oh man. You have to come back out? Oh, oh, uh, come back. Mine down? oh there we go. Just don't don't hit that wall over there. That's the only I'm cool because I can beat that. Oh no. What happened? Hey, it fits. Woo! Yeah! Good job for that. 
We actually got this in. Are you wow. kidding me? It's like amazing right here. Wow. You gotta move your hats. Ah, freaking A. Awesome. Dang. We did it. And Ricky's wife, Ricky will be divorced. Any girls out there looking for a girl? Ricky's got a couple days left. I got a GameCube. <laughs> but he's got this. Well, Ricky's dead, Nicole. You're mine. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. He's going to slap me. Told you. And we're Retro Liberty. And hey, guys, welcome to another video for us, our second video of our new year. Hooray. Which is uh, really cool. Yay. Hey, before we say anything, before I forget, I wanted to say thank you to Happy Console Gamer, Johnny Millennium. So if you guys Thanks, are here. Johnny. Yeah, if you guys are here because of him, and this is your first time watching us, thank you guys. About a thousand people came over after he gave us a shout out, so we bow before you, master. So thank you very much for doing that. We just want to say thank you, and you're an awesome guy. Honestly, one of the coolest guys. And his wife. We met yeah. them in Portland. They were just like some of the most down-to-earth people ever. Me and Chris, our cameraman, and Ricky were like, when we were there, we're like, God, how are these people so freaking nice? You're awesome, They're, John. Yeah, you're awesome. And, and your wife, Kim. Oh, yeah! You guys roll. But with that said, holy crap this week, with the GameCube kiosk and you guys didn't even see half the stuff we got, but as always, we only like to show five and talk about five because editing for me, it kills me. But we're still going to show you guys everything, but the just other stuff we're going to flip by really fast, even though they are good stuff. And we got all this stuff for really cheap. We'll just say that so we don't have to go. And I mean really cheap. Virtue price. Virtue price. So, Ricky. Here's my honorable mentions. Red game. You'll see what they are. Oh. Stupid Ricky. God. Honorable mentions is again. It's like a red orange controller for the Dreamcast. It's red! What are you, colorblind? That's looks, a red Dreamcast controller. It looks red orange to me. Gauntlet Legends for Dreamcast. Carrier on Dreamcast. And then a sealed copy of Final Fantasy VII, which. Is it seven? No, sorry, eight. Eight, which we both have. Say, so. We both got it sealed. Sealed! So, okay. Actually, my favorite Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Finally got Donkey Kong 2 to complete my Donkey Kong collection. Which is my. Or uh, both of ours. Our favorite Donkey Kong. It's the best. Part one's great, and it's the most classic for sure, but I think the reason it's my favorite is because you have two characters that are fast. Everybody, in, or most people that I knew in Donkey Kong 1, wanted Diddy because he's fast. Yeah. And, and now you got two people that are fast, but Dixie can float, just like Peach and Super Mario Plus, 2. how cool is it when you, when you win? <laughs> wow, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> Okay. Sega Dreamcast Sword the Berserk. Honestly, one of the most perverted. Yeah, it's just a weird game. It's really cool. We have a huge sword. It's pretty fun. Like, the action is pretty fun, but you're just listening to what they're saying to you, and you're like... He has a big sword, just like a... Reminds me of Final Fantasy VII, like Cloud. <laughs> Yeah, it's a huge sword. That's so. a huge sword. And then I found The Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition. Yeah, the Ooh. promotional disc. It's got Zelda right. 1, 2, Majora's Mask, and it's, which is awesome. Ocarina. Yeah, to get all that stuff on one disc is great. All these, plus Majora's Mask, in one. Oh, I only need four swords now. Oh, I thought you were telling me you need like four swords. I was like, for what? I need four swords. <laughs> yeah, okay. Zelda four swords. Got Sweet. It. And then I got another top loader. You can never have too many top loaders. Ricky has a few. So I only have two. That's still a lot more than most people. <laughs> but still, yeah, I don't have one. So I'll probably end up trading Aaron for something. Yeah, watch. I got some good stuff for today. So what are you going to trade me for this top loader? Track and field two. Trade denied. <laughs> And then my last thing to show is just a Virtual Boy controller, but it's actually pretty cool because it comes with a little adapter so you can plug in your Super Nintendo. But what I think is cool is you, I never adapter. see those in the wild. Mm -mm. And not that they're like extremely rare. I mean, I'm sure they are a little more pricey than most controllers because you don't see them, but how do you feel about the comfort of them? I never really played them. I like it. It's just, I think it's the flatness right here. Yeah. It throws me off. Oh, yeah, it like curves business. you and then it flats. Ah, very good analysis of that controller. My turn. Here's the stuff I'm going to fly by and they're all good stuff, guys. And I'll that for really cheap, but I'm going to talk about five mainly, but here's the stuff I'm going to fly by and you guys are going to hate me again. Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Silver, Pokemon, I'm going to sell them all. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo, Sealed Final Fantasy VIII, Industrial Spy Operation Espionage, but it looks pretty cool in the Dreamcast. Awesome. Gauntlet Legends on the Nintendo 64, and Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. That was my fly by now. Here's the five I wanted to talk about. Secret of Mana, Ooh. which I didn't play RPGs very much until really the only time I really did was Super Nintendo days, uh, NES, RPG. and uh, Sega Master System. But this is really cool. It's a Squaresoft game, and one of the main reasons that I really love it is A, the soundtrack, and B, it's cool. So you can play with a buddy, which not many RPGs did, especially back then, so. Yeah. Why isn't this game two players? Oh wait, me and Ricky, it is two players! Super Adventure Island, which is awesome. Master Higgins in 16-bit form. And Pretty cool. It's, it's kind of the same vibe as the one on the NES, which was also awesome. Just, um, boosted. Use the boost to get through. 
Mega Man X, which is a lot of people's favorite Mega Man of all time. It is amazing, as you guys know, with the Hadouken amazing. Easter egg. It's yeah, just, that's got so much stuff. We in use it. the soundtrack all the time too for these videos. So, and uh, I said Easter egg. Amazing Easter egg, guys. Just so you know, go check out Chipsters, uh, the Easter egg hunter. <laughs> Um, I don't know if he posted it yet or not because I don't know when we're putting this out or whatever, <laughs> but we're doing a video on his channel about Easter eggs. So go check that out when you can. Next thing is Super Mario All-Stars plus Super Mario World. Ooh. And it's Super Mario 1, 2, and 3 plus Super Mario World. For someone like me that loves Super Mario 2, it's like really fun to play it on this. It's It feels a little different too. Some of the gameplay feels a little more floaty and stuff, which is good in certain parts. <laughs> Very cool to have. And my last one, and by the way, thank you to Kyle for all this stuff. Kyle, yeah. thanks, man. With the GameCube kiosk, good sweet lordy be. Last thing for me, which a lot of people seem to be really jealous of, Mega Man Soccer. I'm jealous. They're like, Ricky's <laughs> gonna be jealous because it's a soccer game. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's actually not that fun. It's a little slow for a soccer game, but it's cool because you can play as, you know, all the characters, all the robot masters. So, and each uh, master has like their own special move and stuff. So it's a, it is a cool game. It's a Capcom game as obviously it's a Mega Man game. I am surprised I don't have it. Soccer and Mega Man. Hey Aaron, you wanna play some soccer? I got it. Me and Mega Man are playing. I have it now! <laughs> That's it guys. I know that was kind of a lot and we kind of rushed through some of it, but uh, putting out a video a week is pretty hardcore, so. It is hardcore. Just, yeah, the editing is like. <laughs> We just filmed another thing before this, and I got to film another one. So just we're busy boys. Yeah, we're busy men. Anything else, Ricky? Like the video, please. We ask so nicely every week. <laughs> like the video, bam, 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 bam. And also comment. If you guys are talking to Ricky. Just so you guys know, if you guys are new, we normally Ricky responds to like 50 to 80 percent of you guys. So yeah. But we get to most of you guys, yeah. so we try to stay very involved. Free. And then subscribe every week, as we just mentioned. We're here for you guys. Did, did you just we say unsubscribe you. every week? <laughs> Unsubscribe. Unsub unsubscribe every week and resubscribe. <laughs> no, yeah. no, just leave it there if you're already subscribed. My bad. Yeah. I think that's it. Do we have anything else to say? I don't want to yes, one more thing. What? Classic vintage. I came up with this on the spot. How does Ricky get cold? What does he say when he's cold? What? Burrito! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, guys, or audio. here thinking this will work. <laughs> Let's look at him. Try out keys that will obviously not work. What's your suggestion? I don't know if they're good. There's zero, zero grams of trans fat. Trans fat makes everything good. A few weeks ago when Aaron and Ricky went to Portland and visited Tyler and Terry, Ricky bought Top Gun off them, but Ricky forgot it in Portland. You can catch him. You're probably not allowed to go again. Here, take these shirts in this game and go get them. Okay? Dude, thanks, Tyler. You're welcome. Man, you came all the way from Portland? Yeah. yeah you don't know how bad I've been eating this. Right here. Damn. Ah, that fixed that well right up. Tyler? Tyler. It's another normal Wednesday night for Ricky and I, and we get a phone call from our buddy Mike, the reseller and collector that you guys know from the show, and he informs us that he has his games out and he's just kind of hanging around, so we asked if we want to come over and look at some, so let's head on over. This is Ricky's personal favorite game, 
soccer. Oh, Ricky. It's, it's no what making can I soccer. Say? I don't know, you know. It's, yeah, it's but no look, look at, soccer, but it's soccer. This, this is, these guys are way too white to be soccer players, let's be real. <laughs> Oh wait, are white people good soccer players? Yes. Really? Yeah. Like some of the best? Dude, Spain has England, one of the best. England, Germany. Wait, Sp Spanish are white people? They're yeah. your people, you don't know this? <laughs> I don't know. So wait, so I'm not Latino? If I'm half Spanish, half Slovakian, am I, do I have any Latino in me? Kind of. Very, I don't know. Very smidgen. little. Poquito. <laughs> Poquito. I think if someone got poo poo and went. Ah, oh, just a smidge. Just a smidge. So while we're looking at this plethora of video games, Ricky comes across a video game that he's wanted for a while, but last time he came across it, he bought it for me for my birthday, so that was awesome. But the game is a little uncommon and a little pricey, so let's see what he can get it for. I've actually been looking for this one. This is not getting it. Shatterhand. I was supposed to get it from Luigi Freakout, but I forgot it at their house, and I didn't pay for it yet. But Mike's gonna sell me one. <laughs> How much, Mike? Shatterhand for you, Ricky. Free. Actually, no, it's 10 bucks. <laughs> I was like, I'm turning off this darn camera, I'm looking at games. Well, but look at how awesome this guy's hair is. And his glasses. Looks like a guy from Classic Game Room, Mark. <laughs> get at least one thing. Well, so yeah, Ricky did get a really good deal on Shatterhand. That was awesome. But now Mike tells us a story about he found a faceless game and it happened to be a really good game and a really uncommon game. So it's kind of cool to hear and we actually kind of do a series about this on our show. Let's see what it is. You found it as a faceless game. A faceless game. But it was Metal Warriors. Yeah, Yeah. So and this the is guy actually... told me that it was Metal Warriors. I'm like, are you sure? Is this really Metal Warriors? It doesn't work because it was all rusted and corroded. And I cleaned up the contact, got the game to work, and then uh, I bought a label from Eliezer from uh, Game Quest or something. It even says on a reproduction label, but still. Show. Show a close up. I don't know if you'll be able to. Is it sturdy? Did it show? Oh, uh, yeah, it says Konami. But <laughs> I don't know, above it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Someone got it and it's like, you know so old. I was like, Final no! Are all Final Fantasy boxes heavier because there's more stuff in them? Yeah. Well, they have a thicker instruction manual and it's, it's like, like it's twice the size as the feels, original. Ooh, nice. This feels way heavier than that. Yeah. No, that one has everything in it and pretty much mint the boxes. I think everybody that has a Nintendo collection has this box, from what I know. So, too bad there's no fighting, like Ricky says. This is Star Trek. Vintage would like this. So I always knew Mike had a lot of video games, but being at his house and being able to pick up every game, every box game, and just feel all the games and all the expensive games is really cool. But we didn't buy them all, obviously, because we have a show to do and we like to keep it going. But now we head out to a friend's house. Yeah, we call him a friend. He's not really a cameo or a special guest anymore. It's NES Complex. He's in all our videos now, so he's just a good friend of ours. But he tells us there's a video game store in his area that's like a hidden gold mine. He went a year ago and got tons of our games for seven bucks each. Golden games and no one knows anything about it. How do they get games though? So I, I swear the games have must they must have been there for 15 years, like untouched. Let's do this. I don't know. Very very bad. I don't know. Bagging on resellers. Our show isn't known normally well, for is bagging we, on resellers. We just got a bunch of stuff from a reseller friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. In the same episode, we might be getting stuff from our friend Mike, who's a reseller, which we say great things about. And this reseller, which sucked balls. Yeah, and, this, this other reseller. And we're not ones to bag on resellers as much as a lot of channels do. Stupid resellers. This guy. When he pulled out the uh, old, uh, I'm gonna go on pricey's on the internet trick. We cried a little inside. Did you cry? 
I cried outside. I need Ricky to help me through these, I'm just gonna these tough talk. times. I cried a lot. He did. Chris literally yelled. The guy's like, okay, $400. And Chris is all, for what? <laughs> the whole store is like, what's going on? I really did. I said, yeah. $400? Are you kidding? I don't even want you to know who they are. Do we? I, in a way, I want to shame them publicly and say, boycott this place. Go there, buy it, bring a lot of stuff to the counter, and then walk away. No, but that's bad. Don't do that. That's bad. Are you kidding me? And he's like, hey, this one right here goes for $150, eh? Wait, he's not Canadian. <laughs> he's not Canadian, dude. <laughs> All right. He was uh, Ricky's cousin. Yeah, he was. <gasps> Racism. 20, 20, the way I like the show. 20. That's not racist. What? That's not racist saying he was your cousin? That was racist. He's not oh. my cousin. <laughs> okay, that was a little, <laughs> little racist. <laughs> I still love you, Ricky. Yes. <laughs> So that didn't work out, and Chris really was pretty pissed, I'm not gonna lie. And so are we, we had really high hopes, but you guys know we just go into a food coma and buy a bunch of junk to make ourselves feel better. Hey, hold on, get your nut down. Oh, 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 so even though we had fun with him, yeah, there was no games bought at all. That's kind of sad, especially in a game hunting show. If you guys follow us on our Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, you guys will know that we started redoing my game room a little bit. So here's a little bit of the progression and how it's going. All right, so I guess we're gonna rearrange the game room so we can fit more stuff on here because we're running out of room. We don't really have enough shelves, so I'm gonna move everything that way. Hopefully it'll look cooler. Hopefully. out of his hole, he kills the wizard, and proceeds to take What are you doing, Aaron? Um, attempting to live stream. But YouTube's working against me. I don't know how to do it. I really don't. I'm trying to live, select my bit rate. Hmm? I'm trying to select my bit rate. <laughs> it went up his jacket. What? A spider? <laughs> yeah. Is it still in there? I put it on your hair and for some reason it like jumped through, went under and went up. Cause Where is it? Was here. It's inside your jacket. <laughs> in here? No, it went up. You see it? No. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of spider? Oh, there, it's on your butt. What kind of spider? It's literally on your crotch. Now it's on your leg, uh, left leg, left, left leg. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, wait, let, let Chris zoom in, that way you can see. Oh. I can't show you anything. Sit. Oh, Aaron killed it. No, he's not dead. Where is it? Right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to see on the camera. See you in hell. <laughs> PETA's gonna come after you. Screw PETA. Dude, all those spider activists are gonna come after you. Screw spider there's, activists. There's probably so many of them. There probably really is. No, there's not. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe if I kill a dog or something. PETA is targeting the friendly plumber because he promotes the use of fur. So I was going to narrate this in a big, long, drawn-out narration, but you guys will just have to watch this. I kind of got punked, but in a good way. Like a thousand times. Must open while filming. So we're going to see what that's all about. We already sliced the top just so we don't have to sit here. And... We did, but look, it's not open yet. Okay, go ahead. Just tell you, Billy. A minute later. It's for Ricky, by the way. If it's what I think is, I'm pissed because I mentioned I want a game on Instagram and he laughed at me. Alright, I'm pissed. Wow! Castlevania Dracula X. Billy, you're the man. Aaron, you want to hold it? No. Come here, just hold it, you ding dong. I don't want it. Here, hold it. Ding dong. I want it. Ow! And I said it on Instagram. So... Hmm. He actually sent that for Aaron. Aaron yeah, didn't know. Yeah, right. He Let's sent me Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. Are you being serious? <laughs> he told me the whole time. He's like, dude, don't tell him. Honestly, Billy, thank you so much. You're kidding. He didn't even know, dude. <laughs> Dracula X. 
and Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. <gasps> You're kidding. Ooh, dude, I, I honestly... Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say. I'm like in shock right now. That is so awesome. <laughs> dude, you got me good. And, and then I thought you, for some reason, you were sending it to him because you like made a joke about me. And he's he's like, yeah, he's sending me just a package. And I was like, okay, that's fine. I, I even said before, I'm like, dude, I'd never be actually upset about people sending us stuff because that's awesome no matter who it's for. I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna go cry in the corner of happiness. So when Ricky, Chris, and I hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel, a YouTuber and a friend named PC Wizard or Dreamcast channel went through every single one of our videos every minute and took each clip of us slapping each other and put it into one giant slap fest filled montage. Oh. Yes, really. Or the same thing. Say it. Say. Say. Thank you. You've been flexed. Just have it. Bring it up. And until then, good episode. So. Butts. You're not gonna slap me though, sucker. It shows up! It just shows up! <laughs> oh. 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 Yeah. Please get here! Alright, oh. well, this is a good <laughs> I missed! Good evening, guys. Good evening? It's evening good. for us. What time do you guys watch the show? I'm kinda curious. I think like a lot of people say midnight. Most people I know would say morning. Really? Everyone says it's like their Saturday morning cartoons. Well, which, the first awesome. Comment. So, all right, with that said, hello guys, I'm Retro Liberty, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And uh, this week, there was kind of a random game hunting. We hung out with our buddy Mike. Boom, doo -doo. Boom. And NES Complex, as usual. He's not even a cameo anymore because he's just, he's just a friend. <laughs> he's not a so, special guest Yeah, he's anymore. not a special, he's just a friend, <laughs> a part of the show now. So, um, sorry, Chris. Yeah, there wasn't as much game hunting because that store that sucked balls that pissed us off. Uh, All right, let's be happy though now because I don't want to be sad. Um, Ricky, go ahead with the things you want to show this week. Uh, for my first game, or actually first two games, I got these from Mike. I got Pink Bullet's Last Hope for Dreamcast. It's actually like a, when was this made recently, right? Uh, a few years ago, five yeah. years ago, I don't know, we might be way off, but it's a shoot 'em up. Shoot 'em up, I think it was for this and the Neo yeah. Geo CD. Something like that, yeah. Those. I think most people thought they were like DVDs or something. Dude, they look like Yeah, when, <laughs> yeah look at this when, thing. When we saw it too, Mike's like, you want this? We're like, what, a DVD? No thanks. And we're just like, dude, it's a Dreamcast game. We're like, the back, it's all like Japanese. They're not going to be able to see that. I'll show gameplay footage. And then I also got Shatterhand. Yeah. yeah. Like, Aaron already has one. Yeah, well, because you got it for me. That's it's, an amazing game. It's like, it's it, the gameplay reminds me of Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, but it does. Like a punching, lot. And but punching. So like it's punch like punch upgrades. You get it's a like, sweet upgrades. It's like Ninja Gaiden, but American. That's what it reminds me of. Like an American Amer Gaiden. Yeah, the guy like blue jeans and a white shirt. So. American Ninja. American Three Ninjas. Strike Back. Good movie. No, terrible movie. <laughs> Sorry, I went to the swap meet without Aaron. Oh. <laughs> I did get Conker's Bad Fur Day. Off camera. So was that big suspense? No. Everyone give him a virtual slap for not calling me. Man, I can't believe I got another game off camera. Backstabber! I'm sorry. We love I each apologize. other. This was actually sent to us by Rebecca. Rebecca Winsell again. Rebecca Woo. Black. It's Friday, Friday. I'm gonna play games on Friday. She said it was for Ricky, but now that I'm reading this back, it says Aaron and Ricky. Congrats on the amazing first year. He's too many more. It doesn't say who it's from, so maybe oh, we'll maybe Metal we'll, Storm, maybe, by the way. Maybe we'll saw it in half and um, each take a part of it. That wouldn't be good. No. But Metal Storm's an awesome game. You play as a big awesome. mech and you can flip up and down. Dude, that is. The mechanics are awesome. Awesome. It's really cool for You can, like, exactly what he said. You just jump up and you're, like, playing upside down and playing the other way. Wow, that sounded horrible. That was. <laughs> 
analysis, but whatever. Who but cares? Thank you so much. This yes. is honestly. Thank you. I was looking for this in Portland everywhere. Every, for some reason, everyone sold out of it. She was there and saw us, and Ricky begged for it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> by the way, this episode is like, by the way, super thank you to you guys. Yeah, That's honestly. what I want to say about this episode. Behind us is a bunch of boxes of stuff you guys have sent us. Every one of you, you know who you are. I've gotten in contact with you guys on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and talked to you personally. Thank you guys so much for everything. It's just, it blows us away. And then the last thing I'm showing, Billy McDonald got it for us. Ninja Gaiden Trilogy. Yes. Ooh. Thank we already you. have the case for it, but I know. We didn't have the game. Yeah, and now if you guys haven't played it, it is re regraphic. What do you call it? What it's is it? Upgraded, improved graphics. Improved graphics. Yeah, of the original. Of the three. original three. Freaking awesome and rare and expensive. If you guys didn't know that, yeah, so that's kind of a so, big deal. So thanks. thank you. Okay, <laughs> my first one I'm going to show, I, or first two, I got from Michael Burt. By the way, you guys, that reseller guy we talked to, he's a friend of ours. I know a lot of people don't like resellers, and like anything in the world, there's good people and bad people. He treats us good. He always has. He, so he gives good prices. Yeah. Honestly, well, at least does he? Does. Well, this is Ricky's personal favorite game. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, you know what? He is selling off most of his collection because he doesn't want to resell anymore. So if you guys want to get in contact with him, I will put a link to his Facebook below. I know he's selling off almost everything he has. He's just going to keep his personal collection. And by the way, guys, even though he's a reseller, his personal collection pretty much puts most people to shame. So every rare game you think of, he has like... Nobody touched that Mega Man 7. I'm saving up for that. Yeah, and he like only collects these <laughs> like mint too for himself. So it's pretty cool. But um, Super Bonk on the Super Nintendo, which is awesome. It's a Hudson Soft game and you play as a little dude with a big old head and you hit things with your head and you, Bonk's awesome. and you eat huge meat to get and then you go crazy your guys like oh! <laughs> you know I think they originally they were like prehistoric times but I think when I if I remember correctly the first level on this is like Chinatown or something sweet I think I don't know I remember the original, but I don't remember the original. Is awesome. That one. Adventure Island 3. Uh, that is awesome from Mike. He hooked me up on these two, like I said. Uh, this is one that me and Ricky have both wanted for a while. And when Mike hooked me up with it, I was like, wow, that's a great deal. So I've talked about it. It's also Husband Soft. I don't need to talk more about it. talked about it. Uh, Adventure Island again a million times. My next thing was sent to us by Tech Geek, an Ooh. awesome dude. From YouTube and it's really cool it's a repro um or I don't even know if it's a repro I don't even know if they made original boxes for these I don't know but it's a box for Nintendo World Championships so this looks really cool I think this is like one of the coolest things to have it is on a display sweet. because it, I don't know it, it's, it obviously has a picture of a trophy on it so it kind of makes it like you don't a trophy see anyone piece. like no in that background with I've anybody. never seen anyone with this box behind him so out of the way Mario Bros Crap. I think this is going to look fantastic. So thank you so much. Thanks. I really appreciate it a lot. Especially because we just redid this thing. Yeah, it looks great. Actually, we have it zoomed in kind of close to the normal, so you guys can't see it all. The last thing I got was also from Billy McDonald, the guy that set Ricky. He's guy, the guy as that's... you guys saw, Castlevania Dracula X. It is freaking awesome. It is definitely the more expensive one of the Super Nintendo. The rare. more rare, I'm talking kind of really expensive. I think these combined are like $300-ish for both. <laughs> so that is awesome. This is a great game. It's a Konami game, as you guys know. It is. Um, there's also Castlevania 4 that was on the Super Nintendo. Super Castlevania. Super Castlevania. And they are both amazing games. I put them kind of on the same level as like how much I like them. Yeah, so what's Dracula X like? It's like mixing um, a little bit of Super Castlevania with uh, kind of like Mega Man X. It's a, not upside down. This is awesome. Thank you so much, and I really freaking appreciate it. Seriously. So, <laughs> yeah, I was like, Thanks, guys. but all you guys, all Everybody, you guys that have sent this stuff, it's just like, I'm staring at this stuff behind us like, are you guys serious right now? There's a lot of stuff. So, and we wanted to say thank you for 10,000, but we don't want to talk about it too long because we're going to do a little 10,000 special. Bree's coming back. She is making something that nobody has made before. We haven't been able to find them out there. So, Ooh. and by the way, we hit 10,000 like four days ago, and today we're at like 11,200. 11, so, what the heck? You guys are awesome. Thank Seriously, you for sharing. Thanks. Big shout out to all you Instagram people. I said something on Instagram and I looked on my feed and every one of you guys was reposting pictures of our show saying, go follow these guys, subscribe, subscribe. I was just, so you guys like went full heave ho to support us. All you guys did on Twitter, Facebook, and everything. Gotta go downstairs. Thank you guys. Yeah. And the Chipsters and Gaming Historian, Johnny Millennium, Games 31, Annie's Complex, JHMDF, every single one of you that's been helpful, but we'll do that in the 10,000 video. So, like the video, and it sounds like there's a raccoon outside, so hopefully it doesn't come in and try to eat our games, but like the video, it helps us. You guys have been doing that. Awesome. We appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, talk to us. We're here every week. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I don't say that as much as I like to. So that's it. Um, let's shoot the camera again. I like to shoot them.
One shot, no machine gun? Oh, okay. We gonna cock first? Sure. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> I told you to cock! Uh... My bad. We should probably go. Okay. Suck. You wanna try? No. Backstabber! <laughs> trying to save you money. He's trying to save Aaron money. Twenty six, twenty six. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> yeah, five guys. Aaron, so what's Dracula X like? Well, it's like mixing uh, a little bit of Super Castlevania with a little bit of Mega Man X. You didn't even show the front of them, you showed the back on both. <laughs> Dang it! Over it. <laughs> Human, the sweetest meat of all. True. <laughs> Mario pubes. <laughs> Imagine playing Punch Out with just your fists. Ooh. Gamers were also introduced to a big surprise. So by that criteria, a game like Deadly Towers, which is basically impossible, would be the best game ever. The first game previewed is Strike. I don't really get the point of this show. This show sucks. I feel like there's something I forgot to do. I forgot to send Aaron his boomerang. I told him I sent this a week ago. If he finds out that I haven't sent it yet, he's gonna be so angry. I know how Aaron gets, and I've seen what he does to Ricky. Yes, why didn't I think of it before? It's so simple. <laughs> Which way do I... Which way do I throw it? To whoever holds this boomerang, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of Woody. Get it? <coughs> oh. What? What happened? Uh, Mary, Mary Kay and Ashley. Retro Liberty. So this is what I usually do in the morning when I'm waiting for Ricky to get here on Swami days. I usually watch the video I'm about to upload the day before. Man, that show sucks. So we were having a hard time deciding last night if we should go game hunting today because it was supposed to rain. But when we woke up, it looked like all the rain had passed. So it looks like luck is on our side and it seems like it's gonna be a great day for game hunting. So we thought it would rain, but it doesn't look like it's gonna rain now. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty good. You know why? Why? It's because I said it wouldn't rain. And I was, the entire town was like, oh shit, I hope it doesn't rain, otherwise everyone's gonna tell me. You idiot. You know, that, that kind of reminds me of Thanksgiving at Grandma's. What is that? Ooh, the maggots? Yeah. Sweet. I Just saw kidding. a movie called Thanks Killing, where they went to eat the turkey, and the turkey came alive and killed everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. That sounds awesome. <laughs> and now, game hunting. Begin!
Goosebumps in Horrorland. Sorry, I'm shivering. I just played something like this in a Wii, and it was pretty darn terrible. But the reason I wanted to watch it is if you guys watch John Tron, which you might because he's pretty darn popular. He reviewed the, all, all the Goosebumps movies, and uh, it was a big trip down memory lane. I didn't realize how bad it was, but back then it scared me. And uh, R.L. Stein, right? That's, I think that's the guy yeah. who made it. See? See? No matter how cheesy you still remember him, Goosebumps is classic. I'm not a pro hockey player, I'm a kid! Jordan, look at George Washington right there. Wait, what the right here. Where? Yes. I don't see him. He is bad to the bone. Oh, sweet! <laughs> bad. Bad to the bone. Oh, this Robotron, Robotron 64. 64. Great. Don't tell, Don't tell him, but I got him that for Christmas. A box oh. copy of Robotron 64. Seriously? Yeah. It's oh. on film now. It's on film, and I'm going to put it in the episode. But that's okay, because he already well, kind of knows. Like, well, Merry Christmas, Greg. So now something pretty interesting happens. We head over to a reseller, and Chris is looking at Zelda Wind Waker HD. Now the guy was asking a really low price, so we were really hesitant. Was it a bootleg? You can't. You can't, right, I know. He, he has I, a I have a Wii U. He's the only one of us rich enough to have a Wii U. Oh, he's shut up. <laughs> he sings for a living. <laughs> Zelda Wind Waker HD. Zelda Wind Waker HD. If you guys don't know, but you probably do, it's Wind Waker, which was on other consoles, but they remade it on the Wii U in HD. Not, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna, I'm, I may do this, I gotta think. So Ricky and I believed it to be 100% real, but Chris was hesitant, and he passed on it because he wasn't fully convinced that it was a real copy. So this guy was selling this for 20, this man right here, and he ended up telling Ricky, he had to give it for 15 bucks, and he was nice to have it with. So, we'd like to say thank you, Ricky. Here's your $15 gift from this hey, nice you lucky man. day, man. Oh, yeah, our lucky day. This guy's the best. Because he was flat out, he's here. He said, I'm here to sell. So, That's yes. Nice. That's what I like to hear. I'm here to sell. Some people seem like they don't want to sell stuff. You know? <laughs> they, they really do. Seriously. It's like, yeah. okay, you want it for $20? i will give you 19 They're like, nope, get out of here. It's like, this is a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Another fat PS2. But... I keep finding them recently. I have three of them at home and I got them each for like five bucks, so I do not need another one. I actually need to sell it or trade it to somebody because, so if anybody lives in California, because I hate shipping stuff, I'll you want to get that PS2, let me know. Hit me up, seriously, seriously, do it, seriously, do it. No, seriously, do it, okay, do it. When you're at flea markets or swap meets and time is an issue, it's kind of always interesting to figure out if you're going to spend time looking through bins and bins and boxes and boxes of endless stuff. This is the kind of place that's like a little scary to skip because there's tons of boxes and it would take us probably 30 minutes to go through here. So you have to decipher if you have the time or you could go through it and miss out on other stuff somewhere else. But with all these boxes, you never know what could be in here. So it's always sketchy to do what you want to do. Get off. Murder weapon? Murder weapon? Oh. Murder weapon? Remember that guy? Murder weapon <laughs> yeah. guy? That guy was awesome. Anything Dude. here 50 cents. Uh oh. Man. Got any more games? <laughs> Check this out, man. Murder weapon? Murder weapon? Murder weapon? Murder weapon? He's probably in jail guy. now. Say hi to him. Hi, murder He's probably weapon watching guy. your videos in jail. Murder weapon. <laughs> I miss that guy. Something I'm really loving here at the Swap Meets this weekend is that Christmas is coming and it's in full swing and I love looking at these decorations. All I know is I'm happy because there's Christmas stuff over here and I love Christmas. Christmas time is coming. Ho ho ho. Merry cheer. Peace on earth, goodwill to men. Am I a good friend, Chris? Decent. <laughs> Don't move. What are you doing, Juke? What? Parkour. Oh, okay, parkour? Parkour par. I'm tired now. I'm tired now. My, this is making me hot. <sighs> what? Oh, like that? See how I put on my hood? I believe I can fly. No one else can do that. I'm sure everybody can. <laughs> what is that, Tetris meets Gradius? Looks kind of cool. I think, I don't know if I have this though, that's the problem. What is it? Barth? Oh, 
Chloris. Nitrous meets gradient. Yeah, it's by Ultra, right? Yes. I just looked at the label. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretending to be smart as usual. Classic Aaron. <laughs> hey, don't tell everyone my secrets. Classic Aaron. You just gotta slide. You know, the, the sad thing, when he gives those little history lessons, it's actually he thinks that's true. Yeah, that's bull crap to us, but he actually thought it was true. Yeah, this is the first Nintendo 64 game. It was released in 1964. It was before Nintendo actually was called Nintendo. It was back when they were called um, Sears, Roebuck, and Company. It's crappy, though. So if you guys remember, Chris NES Complex was offered $25 for that Wind Waker earlier, and Ricky and I convinced him that we were 100% convinced that that thing is real. So we head back there to see if he will still hold his offer at $25. I don't know, Ricky and I were a little worried at this point because it's been a few hours. Yeah, that is 60, but that's right. 65. This one, my son, he said 45, that's 45, that's 45. That's I held in my fingertips, in my hand, I had Wind Waker HD. I was holding it. He said $25. He said $25. I thought it was going to be $25, but I thought, no, it can't be real. It's got to be a bootleg. Who would sell a brand new copy? <laughs> Who would sell a brand new copy of Wind Waker HD for $25? No one does these sorts of things. Yes. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> how's, it, how's it going? I mean, who would do that? I mean, who would sell that for that price? So. So we, we walked around, I thought, I'm going to think about it, it might be a bootleg. And I came back, and then he said $45. NES Matt. Nintendo. Nintendo. You guys ever play Nintendo? My dad calls it, uh, Nintendo. I, he really does, he really thinks that's how it's pronounced. I, miss, I wish my dad was here right now. I'm going to pick these up, two for five. Sure. Ricky needs this. A GameCube a satchel. Oh yeah, Ricky, you need that. Need that. Ricky, are you gonna get this? No, I'd rather get this. But you need this. You come across some pretty cool and interesting things at the swap meet. And sometimes you come across things that you wish you didn't and you wonder, what were these people thinking when they made this? So we're just looking around at oh all these God. nice CDs and we just come across this one. <laughs> wow. Chris, I'm glad it's I, not. I, I, I don't know what to say. That's a real album. Uh, yeah. I, I, I know sex sells, but I, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work. No. Okay, I just got really upset. I was super excited by this, and I'm not kidding. Like, really excited for two bucks. In my opinion, one of the greatest Christmas albums of all time. But? But my kids the other day, I let them play in my car, and they filled the CD player with quarters, and it's broken. Awesome. They shoved quarters in my CD slot, so I have no use for this. Let me see. Dude, yeah. I would buy it if I were you. That's like the I best. That's like the best Christmas. It's sealed. Two bucks. I know. I remember. It's <laughs> like we're gonna we're gonna open it. These are extremely rare controllers for the uh, Coleco Vision. It's the Face Master. You put it. There's put it all on. these. There's all these sensors, and it reads. It reads the uh, emotion in your face to put it control. On. How's it feel? Oh, it feels very good. You probably just got like AIDS. I ate his liver with a nice Chianti. I could be props for putting that on your face. Yeah, me too. So. What's that wrap? <laughs> Dude, this is my nice jacket. We kind of have the same jackets on. Are we cool? <laughs> you know, like the long, uh, uh, you know, know, hip. Oh, wait, flip it. So, yeah, see, look. It, it is the same Dude, jacket. Dude, we are really no, cool. No, you got... But we're pretty cool, right? I, mean, I don't have the hood and oh. the beanie. Oh. Let me try it on. <laughs> oh. I've exposed my hair before. In my I've exposed I, your wait, hair. Wait, hold on. Do I sense slow motion coming Oh, on? you just <laughs> saw it. <laughs> Trust me. It was in there. So we haven't struck any gold here today, but we have done pretty well. We've picked up a few games here and there. I picked up stuff for my friends. Ricky picked up a lot of stuff for himself. And Chris grabbed a few things as well. But like I said, you come across some weird things, and this is kind of questionable. What is this? Yeah. Nice. I like how she's holding this bat. Yeah. Why, she, why is she like, holding a baseball I'm bat? I'm gonna kill him on what, the wedding what? night. In a prairie well, outfit. There's so much confusing crap right, going maybe, on. Maybe, maybe it's a Canadian thing we don't know. If you Canadians does, out there know why she's holding a bat. This does not make me want to go to Canada. Boys with short but shorts. But you can tell they're girls so nice. And, Canadians are so they nice. They are nice. They are nice. Johnny and Cameron are the nicest people I've met in a long time. 
Oh, look at the well, first look, thing. A day in the life of Canada. Look, now I want to go. There's yeah. riots. This is just violence. It's just what I want. Mm. Red my gas. Way. Like V. Book my flight. Red dust to kill the Americans. Well, since it's shaping up to be a gorgeous day today and we have a few hours left, why not head to another swap meet and another one we always do well at. Let's do this. Uh, you have to withdraw before you Can you can. jump on top of that table without using your hand? Yeah. Do it. Um, no. Okay, let me get it. Let me film this if this is happening. If you use your hands, you're not jumping. There's no games today. Literally. Party and party and Ricky bought two games. So they're not even that good. No. I got I'm nothing. Disappointed. Complex? You know, I'm just I'm still broken up about that HD game. <laughs> still thinking about it? It hurts. I'm coming down! <laughs> I'm staying up. Okay. So we may not have got all the games in the world today, but that's not really the only thing it's about. You guys know here on this show that we really care about the friendship and the fun and the good times you have together. If you don't have fun doing it, then it's not really worth doing it. And since it's Thanksgiving week, we do need to realize that we need to be thankful for the games and the swap meets we do have. A lot of people don't have this many, so we are thankful and that we have friends to go out and do this with. Oh, oh this guy, uh, what's his name? Puzzle. Wait, Mace Samuel Windu. L. Jackson. It's Mace Look Windu. Look at him. Look at his face. Yeah. He's like, what up? <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> what, what did he say? That's when he's flying out the window when I've the never Emperor seen Star Wars. I'm just kidding. I have seen all the Star Wars. I was kidding. That was a scary moment. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! So Dude. if you guys watched our oh that's what I was about to go into. <laughs> if you guys watched us all the way back when we first started last Thanksgiving, that's what we did. So happy Thanksgiving, you guys. I know it's a few days after Thanksgiving, but um, I hope you guys ate a lot and did well. And uh Ricky, what are you thankful for? I'm just thankful to be alive. Me too. Thankful to be alive and to be able to have fun and be a part of this community. So thanks for letting us be a part of it. This week we had a fun time with NES Complex hanging out with him. Hey, thanks to Wood from Beat 'em Ups. Wood. If you guys don't know who that was in the beginning, it is basically the Australian version of us kind of mixed with the Game Chasers-ish. So if you guys are looking for another good game hunting show, game chasing show, um, I'll put a link in the description below. He's a really cool guy. He's really funny. I highly recommend you guys check him out. He's definitely, um, let's... Why did he show a link? Oh, a link. What an idiot! Oh, I like it, though. Good job. Yeah, so make sure you guys check him out, especially if you're looking for another game hunting show. And he does other things, too, so make sure. I like when he goes, Retro Liberty. Retro Liberty. Retro Liberty. Yeah, I like that. So. <laughs> but, uh, hey, let's just get to what we got. You owe me a churro, by the way. Yeah, you owe me a churro, you jerk. You Aussie. So, for pickups, I guess I'll start off with F-Zero. Mm -hmm. Honestly, one of the funnest games. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ricky, what's your favorite number? I don't know. How about zero? F-Zero. Oh! I haven't gotten F-Zero yet. I'm sure we have it somewhere. Aaron has it, but I need it. Back there. It's back there. Now it's Ricky. Sega Genesis Joshua. Yeah. We love them Wisdom 3 games. Yeah, they're hard to come by too, and the cart looks different. It almost looks like a Master System. When I saw it, I didn't know what it was. Yeah, we're both like, we felt stupid. It was me, you, and NES Complex. We're like, duh, yeah, we're, we're, we're big time collectors, and we're like, what system is it for? You know, Nintendo. It looked like Sega Master System cartridge. It does. So. How was I supposed to know which console they play? They all look the same. We don't know anything about the game though, but I know it's hard to find because I've never seen it. So. Cool. 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 <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. Aaron wasn't there. I... That's Nic fine with me. Nicole was I, there. I, I want to play this game with you, so I'm fine with that. I've been looking for this game for a while. So Killer Instinct Gold. Yes. It's if it's you, good. If you guys don't know, me and Ricky are huge um, Killer Instinct fans. Um, it's one of the greatest fighter games ever to me. It's right there with Street Fighter to me. Up there! <laughs> Maybe even Amazing. better if I get hate for that, but I love it. I absolutely love those games. I love it. I hate playing him though. I hate playing him this game. This is the only game I hate playing him. Ricky or, or, well, Ricky normally kills me at fighter games, but the only fighter game I'm better in the man is Killer Instinct. It's but, not even funny. <laughs> yeah, with Orchid, it's like almost a joke play. Ultra! Yeah, Ultra! Every time I do a combo, it's nothing but ultra combos the whole way through. So 
And then for my next game, Robotron 64. But the cool thing, mainly the thing why I got it, was because it's from Video Sky, which is a place I used to always rent my video games from whenever I went to my dad's. Yeah, and he called it Video Whiskey when, he, when he was a kid. We talked about it on the Retro Rejects. Yes, we did. Podcast that we've talked about ten times and plugged ten times. So <laughs> give us that money. I love those guys. They owe us money for saying that. They said they would pay us. No. <laughs> And for my last thing, probably one of my favorite games, Donkey Kong Country. In box, so. In box. And I actually have the manual, so now it's got the manual. Yeah. Manuel. Manuel. I, somebody said on like Facebook or something the other day, like, I officially haven't said manual in a long time. I always <laughs> say Manuel. I think it was on Twitter. But yeah, that was awesome. I don't have a lot of the stuff to show. Um, I bought a bunch of Wii stuff and I spent all my money for my friends, Jillian and Andy. I basically loaded them up with Wii stuff. They got a Wii for their kids, so. I kind of spent all my money on them, but I did get a few things. What a so, nice guy. Yeah, I'm so nice. <laughs> First thing is a mint condition PlayStation long box, except for this breaking. I didn't even notice that. Not mint condition. Uh, William's Greatest Arcade Hits. And um, it's awesome. It has Joust, Defender, Bubbles, Defender 2, Robotron, and Ooh. Sinistar. Robotron. But I got it for the Robotron, and sadly, I was pretty upset because I was like, dude, I can play with the DualShock. And then <laughs> I realized it was for PS1, PS1, and it wouldn't let me use the DualShock. PS1. Uh, PS1. <laughs> Dark Man, which I haven't played in a long time. It's an ocean game that I used to play a lot, and I do remember the controls being really loose, and you play as Dark Man, and I remember there's like a picture somewhere of his face, and it's like kind of disturbing while you play. It's like watching you. Isn't it like at the very beginning, like the intro? Yeah, something like that, but I think it's also while you're playing. Maybe, maybe not. But it's a hard game, too. There's a motorcycle revving up back there, so. Hey, shut up, neighbor! Hey, and then this, um, I happened to check my mail today, and this was in my mail today, and I don't know how to pronounce this. The magic of Shehrazad. And I will Shirzad? show you, I'll show you guys the picture if you can't see it. It's like the worst writing ever to try to print, to look, to read. I looked up gameplay footage, and it looked like a, like an action role-playing game, kind of like Zelda, where it kind of has that role-playing view, and you can get magic and stuff, but you can also fight on the spot. The magic of Zura... Shredda. <laughs> no, see, he tried. I saw you looking at it. I, I had it and I lost it. Yeah. It's my culture brain, so it makes you smart. No, culture brain games don't make you smart. And oh yeah, it was from, uh, I didn't even say who it was from. Oh. It was from, um, I think Evan and Lindsay is their names, and they are people that watch our show all the time. They've sent a letter to us with it saying that they both watch our show, which is super cool because that's... my wife doesn't even watch my show ever. <laughs> so I think that's awesome. They were saying that they watched our show like right after she delivered her new baby. So congratulations on the new baby. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Awesome. And um, yeah, they said they watched our show like right after with the new baby. I was like, dude, that is awesome. Good so, start. Your baby's going to start slapping kids now. <laughs> <laughs> So, but thank you guys very much. We appreciate Honestly, it. Honestly, thanks. And the last thing I'm going to show, um, maybe I'll show you guys like a pan over later. Eh, probably not. It's too much work. But <laughs> go on my Twitter, or Facebook, or Instagram, and you can see it all. Me and Ricky the other day went to GameStop um, to look at some stuff, which I haven't been to a GameStop in like yeah, two years. But as we're walking in, the guy's like walking out with a bunch of stuff. I'm like, hey, where's all that going? He's like, to the trash. And we opened it up, and it was boxes, like the oversized boxes of like all the new Xbox it's cool. games. Of Rise of Ghost. What else is back there? A Watch Dogs, Dead Rising 4, that Madden, Batman Assassin's 1, Creed. Assassin's Creed one looked Batman awesome. stuff. But one of the coolest ones I liked was this for display. Even though I don't have an Xbox One and probably won't play it for a while, I think this is a pretty cool display. I'm gonna hold it right here, Ricky, so they can see it. So here it is, the Xbox One display. It's really cool and it's thick. So that's what I like it for. Ooh, and it hangs. Yeah, it hangs. So it's basically just for a big display, so. That's, that's cool it. for hanging. But hey, that's all we have to say. Do you have anything to say? Hey. No. No bueno. Los frijoles no es fresco. That's pretty much all I know how to say in Spanish. That's a good quote. That is a good in quote. In case your beans aren't fresh somewhere, you tell them that. Yeah, they need, you need to have fresh beans. Okay, hey, like the videos, that's it. Give it a Hulk smash. <laughs> and if you pull a tendon in your vein from going like this too hard, it's a good thing you hit it hard enough. And comment, uh, any, subscribe, we're here every week, even though it's slowly but surely killing me. Because, especially because I've been trying to play a lot of video games lately, so I'm like oh, yeah. struggling to edit while I'm like trying to play games. It's been fun. But it has been fun. We've been playing each other, so. Um, but that's it. Hey, and we'll see you guys next week for whatever. You guys got two NES Pursuit videos in Ooh. a row. So, 
Nice. You're welcome. Oh, and we'll keep you guys updated on the contest of the Mega Man drawings and stuff. We haven't seen any yet because we haven't even put out the video yet. Well, <laughs> to you guys we will, but to us we haven't put it out yet. Yeah. So that's it. Adios. Bye. Shove some process fruit in my mouth. That was a horrible, horrible rap. It wasn't a rap, dude. I don't that know. Was the legend. I don't know if it's true, but supposedly some KFC right here, right around here, in Southern California, had like a. They were cooking a chicken, and they when they sold it to the people, they opened it and the ma maggots came out. I was like, what? But I swear I saw it on the news. So I was like, is that legit? Hey, Aaron, can you stand like that? <laughs> that was pretty good, Chris. Hey, you sang better than I thought, too. Hey, that was pretty good. I actually had a crowd. It was awesome. I liked it. Thank you. Bravo. Bravo. Wow. El Divo. <laughs> That was, that was great. great. Chris, you just said you smell like butt. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? The lady. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She said bravissimo. <laughs> that was beautiful. I heard a devil. <laughs> Wasn't that a devil? I don't know. <laughs> this is so cool. There's a book out here about Johnny and Kim from a happy console gamer. Can you get a what? A churro, Chris. Well, the funny thing is, is he literally walked by and he like couldn't resist. He literally walked by he's like, oh, churros. Okay, screw it. And I'm not exaggerating. Classic Ricky. They go to Aaron and he's I'm filming, but it's kind of far away. Oh, he got it. Look, he rubbed it. The wife likes it, too. Strabertino. What? Oh, poop. Strabertino. Oh. Dude, you just said it wrong. How do you say it? Sabritones. Sabritona. What'd you call it? Sabritones. Oh, sorry, Mr. Bilingual Expert. So it's Friday night, but what a wonderful Friday night it is. It's the holiday season and we're all headed over to NES Complex's house and Greg's from Arcade Impossible for an all-guy sleepover. Yeah, I know. Super manly. That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we can all agree that we never thought we'd be having a sleepover at NES Complex's house with a bunch of guys. That's one of those things, if you would have told me that a year ago, I wouldn't have believed it for anything. Impossible. It's kind of like a dream come true, though. I'll be honest. What about you, Ricky? How do you feel about this? It's all right. It's all right? <laughs> Call to police. How did you ring that? <laughs> There's no bell there. I shoved my finger in it. What's up? Oh, 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 oh. What's up? Hey. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> come on in. Oh. Hey, what's up? My doorbell's broken, and when he pushed it, it only did the first half of the ding. We're still waiting for the dong. So it's been an awesome evening so far already, and it's just begun. Endless and endless video games and tons and tons of junk food and random conversations. One of the conversations we had was, we know people die in threes and we just recently lost two amazing people and we mean no disrespect towards them. So we were wondering, let's take some guesses on who's next. And no, we're not wishing death on anybody. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. Whose prediction was that one? Mine. Mine was Zach Efron. We made predictions last night. Who's going to be the next George death? Foreman. Jack Nicholson. Well, because yeah. people die in threes. Correct. Yeah. And the first one that went was and n no, this is sucks. Paul Walker. Uh, terribly sad. Nelson, Man Nelson Mandela. Mandela, <laughs> terribly sad as well. So we were saying people die in threes, and we all made predictions. I said Zac Efron. Ricky said... Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. You said... Robin Williams. And you said... George Foreman. Too soon. Dude, it's red hot. Frank's red hot. That this was work. the closest thing to hot sauce that he has. That should work. Dude, it's buffalo wings. Frank's red hot sauce. Well, Frank's is good, though. It's really good. Just yeah. taste it. I never tried it, so... It's good. Whatever. Put it on his Doritos. Hey, classic Ricky. Classic Mexican. I don't think it works. Yeah, well, if you say throw up a burrito <laughs> and try to oh, dude, he just you're gonna have ants tomorrow morning. <laughs> dude, that's not ants. That's roaches. No way, ants will eat that stuff. As long as I don't have uncles. Oh! Ah! I'm gonna go dom. make the dom. So as the night goes on, we're having fun and just goofing around still and eating more and more junk food, which is going to make us sick in the morning, but Ennius Complex comes up with a great idea. He ordered some jelly beans where there's two different flavors it could be, but both jelly beans look the same. One could be something really good, and one could be disgusting, like bar for diarrhea. So yeah, I guess we're going to play the game. Uh, regret. So. Should we just give up? Is the green one gonna be a juicy pear or a booger? That's the options? I'll go. Just keep spinning. Okay, spin Chris it. is Chris, up. Spin it. Chris, you're up. Let's see. You gotta do it though. Oh. I got barf. <laughs> no, bar. it, it might be peach. peach. It might be peach. Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> it's barf. <laughs> Grab the blue, grab the, grab the blue. No, no saving it. No, no, dude. I can't believe how bad it is. Really? <laughs> Your eyes are watering. Moldy cheese or caramel? Big, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Moldy cheese, oh, dude. Moldy cheese or caramel? Some tells you yeah. this is a bad one because there's only like one left. Just try it. Try it. It's where it's like he got it. rotten egg. How is it? It's Tom. You got to get it now, man. Just get it now. Oh man, I can smell it. Who's Phil? What is it? Okay, I got licorice. Licorice or skunk spray? Skunk, oh, skunk, 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 skunk. Licorice. Dang it! Long clippings. Okay. That's You're bound to get long. Which one is it? Even green, any of the green one? This? Yeah. Yeah. Live. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Rotten egg or buttered popcorn? Which one is it? This one? You're not gonna get anything bad. Deep. Oh God! <laughs> oh, oh my God! That is the worst taste. Oh my God! I don't think it's gonna smell. <laughs> oh my God! That is disgusting. I feel like I got one of those stink bombs and cracked it in my mouth. Oh. I'm literally crying. I can't stop laughing. I hate a drink. Oh yes, yes, Barb. Yes. Oh, no. Do it. Come on, Barb. Okay. Please do it. Okay. Please do it. Okay. I don't want to do this. Hold on. Wait. I want to go back Dude. to Chicago. <laughs> no turning back now. Wait, wait. I can't tell. You'll be able to tell. Then it's not Barb. Then you that's all. That's Barb. <laughs> oh, really? Wait, why is it not that bad though? <laughs> They feel like Barker. Yeah, it's bright light shining in his eyes. Oh my sweet Lord in heaven. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> 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 Can I wipe this on Ricky? 
It's a lovely day for swap meeting. So the next morning we all wake up with a little bit of stomach aches, but hey, it's not raining at the moment, so we get going right away. It is supposed to rain, and it looks like it still could, so we got out to the swap meet as fast as we could. Oh, that'd be sick. Look at it. It looks like a tornado. We're going in the eye of the storm. There's a 10.0 kilo heater. Kilo heater? Well, yeah, that works. Kilo heater, eye of the tunnel. We're going straight for it, boys. Gear up. This is Storm Chasers. Join the guys as they go where no wussy weatherman has ever gone before. Searching for storms. We are Storm Chasers. All right, we're at the swap meet. So what do we do? <laughs> what now? Oh yeah, Greg's never been at the swap meet before in your life? Never. In his life, so that's pretty weird. We're at a swap meet today, and let's be honest with everybody, there's like 20 vendors because it was supposed to rain, and it still may. It still might. But, so it looks like nobody's here, so hopefully Greg's first experience is a good one. You know what the best way to start off a swap meet experience is? <laughs> you got slapped! <laughs> Beat the crap out of it. This is a drive-in theater, so this is the best kind of a uh, popcorn holder. You see that? The popcorn in there? That's disgusting. Or she had a kernel. Oh. Well, it's pretty desolate here, and we're basically just looking at resellers. So if we come across any game or any games at all, we're probably going to be interested in it. What is that? Soul Calibur? Soul Calibur. Hey, look. Oh. Last night, I reviewed The Little Mermaid. So if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. All right, so I at least found one game. Soul Calibur. It's pretty cool. There's a there's when it, when we did the the Harlem Shake, Aaron looks like one of the dudes here, the Valdo. Oh, that's what people are talking about? Yeah, I don't know if Valdo's in this one. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's like a needle in the haystack like uh, our, our cameraman said today because there is nothing, nothing out here. <laughs> we saw something. It's a video game. So, video we bought games. it. Even if we don't need it for a dollar. A dollar. A dollar. On the back, it's like Tony Hawk's Pro Snake. Skateboarding maps and what? I never knew about this. Somebody explain this in the comments. I'm not even going to try to explain what's happening because I have no idea. What? Skateboarding maps. How much in? 50 cents? Why not? I feel awkward right now. The Ring. One of my favorite scary movies of all time. I actually, like, for a long time wanted to name my kid Aiden because I think that's the kid's name in the movie. I, way before I was even thinking about having kids, but this is one of the best, like, first scary That's the one where the girl comes out of there. Yeah, with the hair down and all that. So we didn't actually get any footage of this, but this is actually a new swap meet now. The first one was completely empty, honestly. So this one has a few more things, and I run across a game I haven't seen in a while, and I can't remember if it's worth anything or not. Okay, I'm probably gonna get yelled at, but I feel like this is something. Some reason I think there's like a few Worms games that are expensive. Worms, Worms was like one of my old favorite games of all time. We used to we used to bet jelly beans as kids, like gambling for these. But I don't know if five bucks is worth it for these. It might be, but I'm sorry if I'm totally screwing up right now. But I'm not. I don't really pay five bucks for CD-based games. So sorry if it's good. I want to be Ricky's baby. We're on our way out. Haven't seen a Nintendo game all day, but on the way out. That's not we true. see burger time. But look at that. How cool is that? Try and beat and it has a coupling and you write in the game, I'm guessing. That's actually really cool. Looking. There's Carmen San Diego over there with a I've never seen manual. That. Carmen San Diego? Is it the big box one? Uh well it just has the manual. Oh the box for Carmen San Diego, if you guys know from the Nintendo, is like seriously this thick. It's like the size of three of these together. Yeah, man. So really cool. But um, I bought a lot of games today. 
What a freaking awesome weekend. That's all I can say. I didn't expect myself to be having a sleepover with these guys anytime in my future, and it happened, and it was awesome. I mean, just hanging out at Chris's house, eating junk food and playing video games, then going to the swap meet. Yeah, we didn't stay at the swap meet as long as we would have liked because, well, it started pouring. And I mean pouring. So we bailed, but honestly, we had so much fun. That didn't even matter anymore. What did you do? I did nothing. What did you do? I did nothing. Ooh, the fire. No! <laughs> Hello, I'm Aaron. And I'm Ricky. And it's cold yes. in my shed. Hipster douchebag gloves are on because it is seriously cold in this <laughs> shed. We're both like shivering right now. It's the metal bench. So let's get this over with. Merry Christmas, happy Merry holidays, Christmas. ho, 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 whatever you celebrate. Actually, it's not even that close to Christmas when we put this out, but pretty close, like a week away. Week and a half. Week and a half. Week. Okay, let's get straight into what we got because I'm cold. Okay, Ricky, you can go first. Go ahead. All right, Mr. Complex, NES Complex, got me this at the Swami. Ah! Firepower. Firepower 2000. 2000. Which is an awesome game. Awesome. It's like a, a shoot 'em up, but are you a tank? You're like a tank or a helicopter. You tank, get... okay. And, and it's, it's like a, the, the top view. Top down view, shoot 'em up, but um, you can free roam kind of. It was awesome. Super powerful. It's if I fun. Correctly. I think a lot of people don't know about this game, but. Now you're playing with power. Firepower! It's gonna be Adventures of Lolo 3. This was given to me by Mr. Greg Arcade Impossible. Which, if you don't know Greg's channel by now, Arcade Impossible, go watch him. He's a good channel. He's really good. I wanna be Ricky's baby. So, really good. Do you even know anything about the game? This one? No. Me neither. I've always wanted to try one, but I never... I, I know. I, I think I played a long time ago, and I don't remember them at all, but I do know um, that they, they're a little pricey, right? Yeah, I don't know which one's really pricey. Maybe it's this one. <gasps> you might have a rare game in your hands. Hey, Greg, how much was that Lolo 3 worth that you gave me? $30. Really? 30 bucks? Yeah, dude. It's a good one. Okay. All right, man. Thanks a lot. eBay, here I come. <laughs> I got this one, Mega Man 1 boxed. Yes. Freaking awesome. <laughs> From Mr. Mike Burt. Yep, our reseller buddy. Our reseller buddy. Yeah, and by the way, um, if you guys don't like the box art on that, that's literally one of my favorite box arts of all time. I know a lot of people joke around about, or say it's the ugliest, but I think it's like the coolest. It's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. So two box Mega Man arts down. Mega Man th one and Mega Man six. Yep. Ricky, I'll trade you Desert Strike and box for your Mega Man box. <laughs> In your dreams. In my dreams. If you need us to explain Mega Man, then I'm surprised you're watching the show. So, probably not. I actually just got it tonight. <laughs> he did it like 10 minutes ago and he was late. So he was like an hour and 10 minutes late to my house. Technically, Ricky. It's, it's my Christmas gift for my wife, so oh, okay. it's acceptable. We Legend of Zelda, the Skyward Sword, the combo pack. Yeah, that thing is sick. Oh, yeah. and it's sealed. Beautiful box goodness. Oh. So we're gonna open it on air in about two seconds. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what if I did? What if I just ripped it open? Like, what? Right, let's play. Yeah, let's play it. <laughs> Screw it. Yeah, I don't care much about sealed. Let's do either, a let's but... play. Uh. Um, hey, guess how much stuff I got this week? One game and not on camera. Yeah, one game. Let's do it. You can so, change no film. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, normally I would yell at you. That's correct. Oh, dude, <laughs> oh, bro. <man. laughs> okay, so what it is is Hook for the Super Nintendo, and I just recently played this. Um, I actually played it on my Wii, and I needed to get it because it's awesome. It's a game that I'm actually gonna review, and uh, I might even bring Tracy back for it because she's like Disney Hook, Peter Pan. Little Mermaid obsessed, so she knows a lot about it. Dude, I got Hook. We're gonna review this. Yeah. No, when I say we, I mean Tracy and I. She's like a Disney expert. Hook, Peter Pan. You're replacing me. Tracy, hi. What time you can be here? What time you could be here? <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome game. When I played it, I was like blown away by the music, blown away. By, I loved the graphics. I loved the way the flying felt. Everything just felt like super spot on. And the first thing that came to my head was, this is a hidden gem. So. Maybe it is hidden gem. Maybe you'll find out <laughs> on this channel if I review it. Oh my gosh, I'm so cold right now, dude. I'm okay. I'm ending it right now. Hey guys, like the video. Please do. Appreciate it, especially this night because I'm shivering right now. <laughs> or we're sitting on cold metal. My butt's freezing. Comment, subscribe, talk to us, whatever. You're normally talking to Ricky all the time. I'm normally editing. So, anything else? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
and happy, happy new, year. new year and happy holidays and happy Hanukkah if you're a Hanukkah celebrator. Is Kwanzaa around there? Sure. Kwanzaa too. Everybody. <laughs>
Nice socks, Aaron. Dude, normally I wear no-show socks, but A, it's cold, and it's Christmas festivities. So, I can't. <laughs> nice, Red. I'm such an awesome guy. Oh, I love Christmas. It's almost here, so I'm like a bundle of joy lately. I was last night watching a horror movie for some reason. That's not very Christmassy. Ho, ho, ho. I actually do want to replace my other one, though. Funniest thing, this is like the only Lego game I ever played. When I first bought an Xbox, 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 the first time I got one, like two years ago, that's the game that came with it, and Lego Indiana Jones. I played it for a while, actually, and um, it was okay. Um, from what I hear, like Batman ones are way better and stuff, so. Is it? Is it? Oh, this, I love that logo, that's one of my favorite, uh, like, what do you call brand marking? Oh, it's kind of hard to say. It's called, it's called Victor. It's like an old, it has like a little dog kind of like hanging out by an old, uh, Parlophone record player? What are those called with the big? Maybe. Yeah, but I have a record player in my house and uh, right in my living room actually set up at all times. Cause, hey, uh, good like the What's up, dude? How are you? Hey, man. Merry Christmas. Oh my god. What's nice. up? This guy's like a nice celebrity thing. around here. <laughs> <laughs> Merry wow. Christmas, dude. Nice. I know, I like it. Oh, Can you I buy like it for me you. for Christmas? Yeah. I like your camera. <laughs> Thank you. I know. <laughs> you always like your camera. <laughs> Ricky and I have been playing a little bit of the PlayStation 3 lately, and Ricky has a piece of crap headset, and I can barely ever hear him, so we run across one for pretty cheap. Finally, Ricky almost bought one online the other day for like 50 bucks. A chat headset, I might, need, I might grab this, honestly. Three? Yeah, it looks like it. How much is that? Headset. Five bucks? I might get it. Just so I can talk to you because I can never use it. Yeah, Ricky needs to talk to me. He was using like a ghetto thing that wasn't working. It took us like literally three hours to like get Ricky's voice just muffled talking to me. Aaron, where are you at? It was I'm pretty behind you. <laughs> I was like, huh? Who is this? Everyone's like, stop talking so loud. <laughs> it was interesting. Ricky, look, you're going to play in style now. Now you're playing in style. Hipster style. Dude, you know what this was for? You know how everyone thought the world was going to end in 2000? The millennium? This was just in case, in backup, in case the world did end. You could stab people around. That's messed up. Hey, if someone's coming after your stuff... That is true. That is true. You, gotta defend you, yourself. you have every right to defend yourself. If they're coming at you, though. Yep. Three bucks. What are doing snooping around? Sega Superstars, you need this? It's the eye toy I think version. Ricky needs that. Hey, you need it. It's uh, the eye toy where you like kick and punch, and it's basically the first ever connect, but done by the PS2. I don't know if it's the first ever motion controls. Oh, think of the power glove. Is that mo oh no, the U-Force. U-Force. The thing where you put your hand in there and you move it and all that. That's the first motion control. Hey. U-Force. Oh, look at this. Chris, even though this isn't in here. I see you. The cap's on. Uh, no it's not. They're see-through. <laughs> what a, a ding-dong. You should just get him with this knife. <laughs> and this miserable life. <laughs> Ricky just threatened to kill me on the camera. He just like whispered in my ear, he's like, I'm gonna end your miserable life. Aaron, are you gonna get a new hat? I think so, actually. Um, the green one would really bring out your eyes. Juice sugar. What? So good. What? Sugar, sugar cane? You like sugar cane? Dude, I love sugar cane. What do you, how do you eat them? What do you do? Just like suckle them? I don't know. When I was when I was a kid, how when I was a kid I had like a giant knife like this, just cutting it like this. I, I, would, I would just peel it and then go, ah. Is that Mexico or here? Yeah. <laughs> in 1701, sugar cane was discovered in Cuba, which produced enough sugar for Europeans and their tea. Whoa, Ricky. Is true, true fact. Wait, enough sugar for the teats? Tea. Oh. Do I have an accent? <laughs> Kinda. For the teats. I thought you said they produced enough sugar for their teats. I was like, uh, Ricky, this isn't a breastfeeding lecture. Yes, it is. As much as I love lactation. 
So admittedly, I haven't bought any video games yet, as I haven't really seen much that caught my eye. I didn't really see anything for Super Nintendo or Genesis or Nintendo, which is kind of my main areas that I like to buy for. But then I run across a game that I don't really ever see. Actually, I've never seen out in the wild. It's not expensive, but it's one that I need. That guy looks uh, classic. Like a pedo. 100%. Geppetto. So, baseball stars and tubin, um, the game? which are pretty. Tubin's a little uncommon. She'll do five on this, I'll do it. How much is this one? Five bucks. I just picked up Tubin for five bucks, which I haven't played before. But it's a little uncommon and I never see it. And it's a, it's a ten gen game for ten gen. It's black. It looks good. It looks good in the collection. Uh, hopefully I play it because I've been trying to get games that I'm gonna play. So if I don't like it and I hate it, Merry Christmas, Ricky. <laughs> Uh, Game Boy. Little ones. Do you know the little tiny ones? Ricky's got a little tiny one. Uh, <laughs> oh, the DS. Okay. That is so creepy. I don't know why Toad isn't creepy, but this is freaking crazy. Freaking creepy. Oh! Santa toy. Should be like 50% off because it's probably the last day before. Let's see if it works. Go Santa! Go Santa! Go! Go Santa! Go Santa! Go! Go Santa! Oh, it's not near as bad as everyone says! This thing's creepy, dude. Dude, I used to be scared of those as a kid, seriously. Someone gave me one, I was like, honestly, what is this thing? Aaron still is afraid of those. Troll dolls scare me. I think there's enough trolls in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Christmas is right around the corner for us, like I said, and something I've been doing a lot is watching a lot of Christmas movies. Yeah, I know they're a little cheesy and pretty sappy, but I'm a family man, I'm old school, I like these Christmas movies, they give me a good feeling. And I know there's not really any good Christmas games, but there's some games that were made after great movies. You seen anything good, Ricky, or what? Nice. I'm looking at Home Alone, oh, in honor of Christmas. Also in the comments, tell us your favorite Christmas movie of all time. Home Alone's definitely up there for me as one of the best. What about you, Ricky? What are your I really favorite like Christ a Christmas story. Christmas story? Yeah. To shoot your eye out? Yeah. It's pretty classic. Oh, but Jingle All the Way. Jingle All the Way is awesome. Put that cookie down. No matter what people say. Yeah, Turbo Man. And Sinbad's in it. Yeah, that's kind of cool. The X Men case. That was Sinbad's last movie. Seriously? No. <laughs> Rest in peace, Sinbad. No! Oh. What is it? I don't know, it's an Xbox Live controller. Is that the Incredibles design or something? Dude, it's actually like Xbox Live. This is Gamester on it. Dude, this is Gamester's controller. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look, it's even got an output for the headphone. Oh, Ricky, you need that. You need, you need that, Ricky. That. Actually, you have to buy that. Well, before we head out, there's one last thing I need to get. And there's this guy who sells video games here a lot, and he's a really cool guy. We're really good friends with him now. But I need to pick up a cell phone case for my wife. So we head to this guy, and I look for some cell phone cases. Yeah, it's not gaming related. So. Hi. What's up, man? Yeah. You got, any, you got any iPhone 5 cases? Yeah, iPhone 5, outside. Outside? All right, let's yeah. go. Let's go. You show me. Yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, those are yeah, from, those are what? sexy ones. One, two, three, four, five. All these right here. Yeah. Okay, cool. How much are they? Ten. Ten. Sweet. If I'm gonna buy one from someone, it'll be from you. The reason prices are going up, Ricky Avila. At first, not that great, but I got a PS1 for a buck. Yeah, and you got Earthworm Jim 3E for five bucks. That's a good deal. It's a good. It's a and good it's deal. a fun game. I like it. Um, Earthworm Jim's good. Period. It is. Earthworm Jim's yeah. like a good classic. I think they're like bringing it back in like a movie or something. Really? I'm serious. Like a movie or a game. Something. There was some buzz about something. I don't know, but. Yeah, Merry Christmas, guys. I know it's going to be a few days late for you, or a week. I don't know. Maybe we took a week off, but yeah. if not, Merry Christmas. Either way, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and it's time for the pickup video. So let's go to it. Wow, that was so good. You should be in the Olympics. Hello guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Hol Wait, Happy New Year probably. Happy New Year. By the time you guys are watching this. For us it's Christmas time, for you guys it's uh, about three days probably or so after. What is it? One day after for today, us? Eh. Yeah, for you guys it'll be about three or four days. 
So, Happy New Year. Be safe, you guys. And Ricky and I are going to be very quick tonight. And I'm talking quick. very quick. We're at Ricky's house. We're kind of on the go right now. We are doing stuff with our families. We're very much in full swing. I actually didn't think I'd get a video out this week. But I said, let's do it. So we're only going to show two games out of everything we got because we're going to get done. So, Ricardo, you're first. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, so for my first game, I got Banjo Tooie, which I always loved how they picked and call it Banjo Tooie. <laughs> Banjo Tooie. <laughs> yeah, I always thought it was That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Um, it's a good rare game. It's a 3D platformer. It's not one that I really played much. I um, didn't play it either. Banjo Kazooie, for sure, I played, which is awesome. That I think I just played a little bit, and um, I know people love it. Um, yeah, so. I heard good. Yeah, good if it's like about the first it. one, it's great, and I hear it is. I only played it for a little bit. So. Yeah, great game. And then for my second game, second and last, press. <laughs> Christmas press! Christmas present! Press press Uh, Chiller for the NES. Pretty gory game for an NES game, honestly. It's... I don't know if I, I would say fun, just kind of weird. It's like, um, it's a shoot 'em game. It's, yeah. it's a game that you can use the gun with, the zapper. But you use two at the same time. Two zappers at the same time. This game's not the greatest. It's kind of boring. You know we can play this game with two zappers? Yeah! It's very gory, very dark. Um, you're just going through levels, like literally shooting people Bodies, that are like being yeah. tortured, like legs sticking out of the ground. I'm talking like demented for Nintendo. It is pretty bad. So, but but it's cool. It's not an easy game to get, and Ricky got it for a good deal, and it's worth yeah. quite a bit. So, good job, Ricky. Thumbs up of approval by me, and that's thank you. That's what matters because I'm so important. Okay, for me, just two things I'm going to show. I got Tubin on the NES, which I never see. I don't know if I would call it uncommon. I know in the video I did, but I never see it out there, so to me it was uncommon. Yeah, it's a, I'd say it is. Yeah, it's a game where you go Tubin, literally, in a water wrap. There's nothing special to it. It's not very fun. It's not terrible either, but it's not amazing. And then a gift from a subscriber who is awesome, which I just am drawing a blank on him. I think his last name is Benedict. I'll put his name right here because I can't Benedict remember. Arnold. I think it's Benedict. Jason <laughs> Benedict or something like that. Tyler. I might be completely wrong, but I'll put it down there. Thank you for it. But he got me Final Fight 3. Nice. Which is awesome. Ricky, I just got Final Fight 3 in the mail. Nice. And I already have part 1, but I don't have part 2. And I was wondering if I could have your part 2 to complete my collection. You know what? In the spirit of Christmas, here you go. <laughs> So much love, so much love. Personally, it was our favorite Final Fight. It was in our top 10 it's SNES good. cult games. I, mean, I think there's Guy, Hagar, Cody, Dean, and Lucia. It's when they brought the originals back. Yeah, and, and come on, Hagar has his ponytail in there. <laughs> so it's like a big beefed up Steven Seagal. <laughs> so it's a great game, beat him up if you guys don't know it. You probably do, but at least Final Fight won. Amazing game, two yeah. players at the same time, unlike the first one. I didn't take a breath while I was saying that, and I just now took my first breath. So that's it, you guys. Hey, give us a like, give us a comment, subscribe. We're actually one of those channels that we'll try to do our best to comment back to you guys and talk to you guys. And we do put out videos every week, even during Christmas time, with all our family stuff going on. Most, most impressive. That is most impressive us. Of us of us. Why can't we talk tonight? I'm We're tired, about to go dude. eat in and out right now with our families. So that's what's on our mind: in and out time. So Merry Christmas, ho ho ho, Happy New Year. Anything else, Ricky? Just say it, Ricky. I know what you mean to say. What? Feliz Navidad. <laughs> okay, goodbye, guys. See ya. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's that little fat kid. It's like, ooh, kill it. Why you gotta call someone fat? I'm so sorry. Honestly, that was me. <laughs>